is where you find out if you're an NFT. That's not a <laughs> but, but, not an but, NFT. But, not an NFT. Huh? Huh? Not an NFT. Huh? Not an NFT. Not an NFT. Not an NFT. No, 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 that's not what I mean. I'm sorry. I like how you ro- you ran <laughs> up to Kohal as you're saying you're sorry and stuff. I, I know it works. I've done it once already. Hell are putting that first aid seminar to work on you, huh? Uh, come on. <laughs> yeah. There we go. A little more. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> we did it. Sell stuff to the characters, play as the characters as they explore dungeons. To bring back stuff to sell. I did about to start it up in a minute. Oh, okay. That's cool.
You shouting me out? What's going on, Gothic? Do we shout Gothic out? I didn't shout Gothic out. Hold on. <laughs> hey, dear Agony, how you doing? There we go. <laughs> Win? I will change my scene once. It's weird how Black Cherry somehow was like even worse. It's like, what? Is this the beans? I can't Apple. hear the clippies. Green Apple. Like Dastic, how are you doing? And Cole got first. Congratulations. All right, hold on. Cozy Christmas. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? And Enzo, welcome in. Mag, welcome in. How you doing? I know I'm a little early. Um, I was having such a good morning. I'm like, I am on time. I got everything, um, you know, situated. I have more than enough time. And it's like, you can't be late. Um, if you're like this, you know, this early, I'm like I am, I'm doing well. And then as soon as I, um, I come over here to my desk with my coffee, I'm like, I am ready. And I spilled coffee on me. <laughs> I spilled coffee right in this area. I'm like, I can't, I can't hide that. Um, so I changed my shirt. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I was so bummed. I'm like, oh, I wanted to wear this shirt today. Um, and I wanted to wear white today, so I, I I just changed my shirt to another white shirt. I'm like, no one will notice, right? And yeah, we got the choker today. Is she feeling very spicy today? For what? What's spicy? How am I spicy? I'm spicy, like, as in silly. Um, I don't know what you guys do with me. What you gonna do with me? I'm just a mess. Oh, the choker is spicy? You know, I had a man. Um <laughs> say he, he he was like my my boyfriend's friend. Although I don't think we were dating at the time. Ex-boyfriend. It was a long time ago. And his friend was like commenting on my collar. He's like, is this a like a fashion statement? Is this like a something else? And my ex-boyfriend like very quickly told him, it's a fashion statement. <laughs> he knew what his friend was going for, and I'm like, no, you're not doing that. <laughs> oh, thank you for the lurky gothic. And I'm shuffling the cards because I know you guys are going to redeem these at some point today. I need to make some new ones. I need to make some, like, Christmas uh, conversation starters. But I've been working on earrings lately because our um, our art event is um, this Thursday. Did you see? Did I show you guys these ones? I made um, moogles. I made moogles. And... I guess I could show y'all. You guys can have the sneak peek. I finished the, um, the Buster's Swords. I got Buster's Swords, which you already saw, but I got the, I got a big sword. <laughs> I got a big one. And a guy, um, yesterday commented about it. He, um, he got distracted. Like, I was trying to get assistance, customer assistance, and he was just kind of, like, a little a day is he's like i'm sorry it's the big buster sword <laughs> yeah i'm doing well i'm doing well how are you guys uh mistletoes um i'm not against mistletoes are you against mistletoes what are your thoughts on mistletoes you've seen some buster sword earrings recently oh okay uh where'd you find those i made um the gun swords too from Final Fantasy VIII. Don't tell no one. <laughs> Sneak peeks. Um, I'm also making some some other things too. Also, I wanted to maybe maybe get y'all's input. Um, 
they're having I'm I'm gonna do kind of like a I thought about doing a subathon. Um I've never had one before. But I don't think it will be like a like a real subathon. I don't I think I'm just gonna do a giveaway instead. On oh, Etsy most likely. Etsy's got good stuff, yeah. As long as the per the people involved are comfortable, I don't mind. Oh yeah. Um, oh, I've never been in a situation where anyone's put mistletoe in front of me. <laughs> um, I know mistletoe is not good for cats, I don't believe. Um, I'm not totally sure though. I feel mistletoes don't work. Oh, and then, like, getting someone to kiss you kind of thing? Like, people gotta consent to it in the end of the day. <laughs> oh, Game Wander, welcome in. You want- you want VIP? Hold on. How are you doing? Let's go to... Is it- is it your night time right now? Okay, hold on. There you go. You're VIP now. And... Stream manager... I'm good, just chilling. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Oh, it's 1 a.m. Oh, okay. You gonna fall asleep to my voice? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that do. <laughs> pick in discord oh hold on we might be having a few conversations at once hold on is it in the funny content oh no <laughs> it's a that's a missile toad <laughs> the missile toad um yeah also i'm i'm trying to make some mistletoe um earrings too we haven't gotten around to that yet, though. But yeah, mistletoe is cute. I like the I like the concept of it, um, but I just haven't been in the situation for it. Cause like, um, uh, like it makes for good, um, like those holiday movies, right? Like it's like, oh, there's some mistletoe here, like, <laughs> um. But in, like, in the real-world setting, like, a lot of, like, things in movies aren't actually, like, a real thing that happens. I think people, people get really, like, depressed, um, just because, like, movies give you this picture of what life is supposed to be like. Like, oh, these people, they have money, they have a house, <laughs> they got, they got romantic love that, um, is, like, not toxic whatsoever. It's, like, it's so much. Someone looks happy today. I'm pretty happy today. I like the mornings, and I got coffee. Uh, Bernie, I spilled coffee on me right before stream. All sunshines and rainbows. Yeah, the movies. Yeah, like, even, even just to see that, um... Oh, it was cold coffee, so at least there's that. <laughs> I'm okay, yes. Um, I was just- I'm just clumsy. Um, yeah, just to see a movie where people are like, they got a house where there's like enough bedrooms for every kid, like that to me is like, um, that's something. Like I'm, I'm like, wow, this is not realistic. <laughs> but in some families, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate I had my own room, but my parents only had two kids, and my brother moved out when he was a teenager. Yeah, I had kind of a weird family. Morning stream, this is new. I do it on Sundays now. I didn't do it last Sunday. Um, I got depressed. I had the big sad, and I treat that just as if I'm sick. In, in, in any way, but yeah, always take care of yourself. Your brain is also important, just as every other part of you. <laughs> but I want to do like 
kind of casual streams for morning streams. I kind of want to do more morning streams. Although, I already made my schedule. Um, for the whole December. And if you guys are in the Discord or on Twitter, you can see my, um, my whole schedule. I got- we're gonna do events like... Goose Goose Duck on the 22nd, um, and Jackbox Party Games on the 31st, um, to kind of celebrate Christmas and New Year's. And then we're doing some movie nights on the 19th and the 25th, the Christmas day. Um, figure people will probably be hanging out with their family Christmas Eve, so maybe, maybe you want to hang out on the 25th. I mean, the idea to do, like, I always try to do Christmas events because I want people who may not have family to, like, hang out. Um, but I also want people to hang out if you are busy. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go AFK. Nice Moogle earrings. Oh, thank you. I made these. I just tell in chat, um, I was making some earrings. I made a, a Buster Sword, too, if you haven't seen it yet. I like it. Um, I- we're- we're still, um, putting the Etsy together and making stuff to put on Etsy. How do you make all that? Um, um, uh, Kevin has a 3D printer. Um, and I am designing it, uh, I guess with Photoshop. I- I- I do the little- I do- I do a little bit of graphic design. I do a little bit of drawing. Not anything, like, super detailed, but I- I do art. <laughs> and then he 3D prints it, so- and then I put it together. Oh, you do too? Okay, cool. I know you're a graphic designer. Um, you do the emotes and stuff, right? Oh, do you have an Etsy? I bet you do. <laughs> um... Oh, ah. oh yeah, I was trying to tell people. I'm trying to do a giveaway at the end of the month. Um, I'll probably give away some earrings, um, maybe some keychains if you don't do earrings. Um, maybe something else. And I want to take, I want to, if I can get a rug done, if I get my first rug done, because I'm, I'm doing rugs, um, I'll give away my first rug. But I want to- I- I'm not sure yet on what I'm going to make. Um, so look up tufting rugs and you'll see what, um, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about rugs. I'm thinking of making a Gengar or, like, a PlayStation logo. Something, like, I know everyone would like. Hi, Storyteller. How you doing? Yeah, we're under special event because the game I'm playing isn't under a category. Design a Mass Effect uh, poster and mug recently. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. All right. I'll go. I'll hop into the game. Hold on. Let me get this stuff out of the way. You guys don't get to see my face this close. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we've been playing this game maybe like two weeks ago we were playing it. And that was fun. Um, it's a visual novel. It's, it's, um, lesbian. Two lesbians. It's cute. <laughs> hey, Sunrose, welcome in. How you doing? This is also a... Um, rhythm game, which I think I've been doing poorly at, but I think I know what to do now. Actually, let me do that right now. I gotta do my settings. Rhythm game. Let's make it like A S K L. Okay, so I'll do it like that. Kind of like on the keyboard. You gotta have like a good placement of the buttons. <laughs> hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Is it your morning time for you? Are you, um, I don't know what, um, 
time zone you're in. <laughs> but good morning, I hope. <laughs> Alright, this is... I forgot her name. This is Valerie. This is, this is Valerie. Valerie is the... She's got, like, this famous... Um, pianist mother and violinist dad who are, like, really kind of disappointed in her. They want her to be better at the piano. And she's already really good at the piano, but she didn't win a, a award for it. Um, so we're kind of seeing where Valerie goes, and she's new. She's from Australia. Um, oh, hi. Welcome in. Thank you for the, uh, the follow. It's afternoon, almost 2 p.m. Okay. How do you feel about Redbubble? It's wanting some reviews. It seems like they've been pretty unfair to sellers this year. Um, I don't know. I have a Redbubble, but I'm not on Redbu Redbubble to, like, make money. <laughs> I'm just, like, I just kind of want my designs out there. Um, I mean, not to steal, but, like, just to... I just want them for myself, I guess. Uh, but I don't know how I feel about Redbubble. Um, I don't... I, I think, yeah, you're, like, you're right. They're probably being unfair, but, like, Etsy's also being unfair. Like, Etsy probably gives... Takes a lot of money from people, is what I heard. So a lot of artists want to get off of Etsy. But, the downfall is, like, Etsy... Like, me, as a customer, I like going to Etsy just to look stuff up. And I like the fact that, like, that's a place I know where I'm going to, like, find things. Um, but if you were, like, a really well-known artist, you don't need Etsy. So you could just, like, make your own website and sell stuff on your own. So, I don't know. I'm not sure. Taking a lot of profit from the sellers. I believe it. Um, are you on Etsy? Have you tried it before? Okay. Since the day that Valerie brought her guitar in to practice, she fed me something she she called a beaver tail. Oh yeah. Since that day Valerie brought her guitar into practice. It's, oh, didn't I just see that? Hold on. <laughs> it's a tune I normally wouldn't play. I don't know if that was a glitch or if that was my fault. Etsy has enough of a following. You're more likely seen versus running your own website. No one knows exists. Exactly, that's what I was saying. Um, it's kind of um, like you'll you'll get business easier if you if you um are not well known. I heard Etsy takes a small amount. Depends on retail price and shipping costs together. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I just heard- I heard a lot of people complain about Etsy, but I don't- That's probably, like, the big artist. Like, if they want to go make their own website, that's- That's on them. They can do that. <laughs> it's- it's- you- you're- You gotta pay a little money to, you know, for a website that's supporting you. Okay, it's messy, it's chaotic, it's loud, but in my head it sounds beautiful. And for the first time in a long time, I want to put my fingers to the keys just to hear the music. Not to pass a test. Not to win a competition. Not to please my parents. But for me and only me. And here's Valerie. Valerie knows a lot of instruments. And she's trying to compose a piece, and she's asked... Oh, no, no, that's not Valerie. Is that Valerie? Oh, I got their names mixed up. <laughs> Valerie is asking Cadence to help her with her project. So that's kind of like the sum of up what has happened. But she, uh, Cadence is a transfer student from Aust uh, Australia, and they are in, um, I think, Quebec, Canada. Um, yeah. Hi, 
Sturdy, sturdy hand pats me on the back with so much force that I am pushed forward, stumbling to catch my feet. Ah, whoa. <laughs> the same hand then grabs onto my waist to keep me from falling. Are you okay there? I need to blink twice to squeeze the shock out of my eyes. Once both feet are firmly placed on the ground, I carefully remove Valerie's hand from my waist. Oh, we're getting, we're getting intimate. Has anyone ever told you that you're quite right, rough? She smiles guiltfully. More often than I should admit, to be honest. Valerie's straightforward honesty is refreshing. I am finding it more and more difficult to hide my smiles from her. Why did I do that to begin with? When I came to Canada, I didn't come with the intention of making friends. Mm -hmm. I came because I wanted to find myself, find out who I really am, and what I want to do with my life. That's what I told myself. But really, I think I was running away. Running away from who I was, my parents, my instructor. I didn't really know if the person I was coming back home is who I want to be. But instead of finding myself here, Valerie found me. Are we still on for tonight? I wonder how much game there is. I, we talked a lot the last time we played this. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Kevin. Yes, after my lecture ends at 4 p.m. today. I hope your taste buds are looking forward to the sickening sweet experience that is to come. She points two finger guns at me, while showing a devious smile. Her level of excitement is strange, but I don't mind it so much anymore. I catch myself giggling nervously. I'm worried. After our freestyle jam session last week, Valerie shared with me some Canadian desserts from the area. You know, I just realized this game is like about music. Um, this, this other game that I might play today, The Loud, it's called Loud. It's another game about music. And then the game I'm going to be playing after I'm done with Final Fantasy VII um, is the Goodbye Volcano High, which is also has some music in it. A lot of like rhythm games here. <laughs> the beaver tail that she presented was smothered in a thick layer of chocolate. Hazelnut topped with yummy fresh bananas and finely dusted with powdered sugar. No, not the OG7. We're still playing the remake. We're almost done, though. We're almost done, and then we'll get on to the, the Yuffie DLC, which I've never played. The dough, although crunchy on the outside, was so soft and pillowy on the inside. It tasted very much like one of the dessert pizzas from back home. The dessert pizzas? It kind of reminds me of home. Really? She raises the butt of her palm to her forward, making a loud slap as she closed her eyes. Some of the way they talk is, is funny sometimes. <laughs> But it's from a different country, so there's going to be like a few different words that are a little bit different, I've realized. I thought I'd get you to try something different, but it looks like I failed. Hi, Kuro. Happy Sunday. How you doing? It does taste nostalgic, but it is also different. Her sky blue eyes shimmer back at me with excitement. Do you like it? I feel a lump in my throat. It's not caused by the food. I'm nodding my head to respond to her question. I avert my gaze away, but the presence of her 
observant eyes stay with me. I've always had difficulty handling people like Valerie. People that exert too much energy and have that intimidating, friendly presence about them. If you like it, then I'll take it as a particular success. Partial success. She's so strange. Hey, I have an idea. Not another one. What is it this time? How? Come have dinner with me next week. Why? Why not, eh? The conversation continued back and forth. At one point, Valerie felt the need to hug me tightly to try and convince me. I eventually gave in. Fine, I'll join you for dinner next week. Yes. She finally let go and gave me two thumbs up to show her approval. Oh, hey, Austin. Happy Sunday. We're, we're back at it with our lesbian romance novel. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Clodwig! How are you guys? Happy Sunday. Since being here, I haven't really gone out of my way to try any of the local cuisine. There's a whole world out here for me to explore, but I've been too caught up with what's going on in my head to get out. Laundry all put away. Yay, good job! <laughs> I gotta do laundry soon. I feel like I've been sleeping on this game. You know, as a content creator, you gotta, you gotta get going. <laughs> like, I guess to be a good content creator, you have to like beat games like before anyone else. You know, um, which I don't bother with. I like taking my time. Rainy Sunday, dragging my feet today. Oh, rainy Sunday? Is it relaxing, rainy? Definitely progressing on the laundry. Oh. oh, but since you guys are here, I was telling chat earlier, at the end of the month, I think I want to do a giveaway. Um, but help me decide what I want to do. <laughs> um, I want to make rugs. I, this has been a thing I've been telling people for a long time. And I finally got my frame. I got the frame, I got the yarn, I got everything, okay? But what do I want to make? Um, for my very first rug I'm going to make on my own, I think I'm going to give it away. Um, and what's like a generic thing that like almost everyone would like? I was kind of thinking Gengar. I think a lot of people like Pokemon. I think a lot of people like ghost Pokemon, especially if you're here with Ghost Girl. <laughs> you're gonna make a rug too? What kind of rug are you making? Um, I also thought maybe like something like maybe PlayStation related or... I, I, wouldn't, I, I, was, I was thinking of like Game Boy, but you know what? There's some people I meet and they'll be like, oh my first... My first console was the Wii. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so those people would probably wouldn't have any connection to like the Game Boy. A pride Gengar? How would you make a pride Gengar? I'm very intrigued. <laughs> would he be rainbow? It's gonna be the link to the past map. Ooh. The yin and yang symbol? I, you know, we could do a yin and yang symbol, but it has to be two cats. It has to be cats cuddling. <laughs> My first Nintendo was a Game Boy. Yeah! See, like, so most people, um, I would say, like, that's normal. At least in our friend group, because we're old. But there are some people that will be like, oh, their first console was the Wii. And I'm like, oh no. Some people don't know the Game Boy. Yeah. Oh, so Rainbow Gengar? We would- that- that might be a thing for later. I wanted to make- I've been wanting to make rugs for a while, but I want to make, uh... I do want a pride rug. 
the yin and yang cats, the meow can be named. Is not the internal meow. <laughs> yeah, I, w I was thinking about cat related things too, because like a lot of people like cats here. Um, but yes, I do want to make a rainbow rug. I do. I want to make the pride, the pride rug. Um, but I, I don't want to make it for this type of event because not everyone, not everyone's gay. <laughs> A lot of us are, but not everyone. <laughs> Never had a Game Boy either, but I want one today, so I'll be like, backlight mod for it? Oh yeah, those are nice. You also want to buy a PlayStation 2? Ooh, I have a PlayStation 2. I need, a, I need to get, um, I need to get a Wii again. Or GameCube. But since the Wii does both, I'll just get the Wii. I wonder if I want to bother with a Wii U, though. I had a Wii U, but my ex hasn't. My ex-husband, he got the Wii U, which it's his. I got it for him for his birthday one year. And then he took my, my DS, which is... It's okay. I'm not too upset about it. But I also want to tell you guys, I got, I got my papers. I got my papers in. <laughs> My papers got sent to me, um, so I finally sent or signed some paperwork for my divorce, and they're getting sent back to him, so that's exciting. I'm almost a free woman. <laughs> if you can make a coaster with a logo on it, I would totally buy it from you. A coaster? What kind of coaster? Just like a, like a, like a coffee coaster? Tonight I find myself back at the same restaurant that Valerie had taken me two weeks ago. The smell of cheese and potatoes fill the air. It's busier tonight than it was last time. There are f families with their children still in school uniforms. Mm -hmm. But some groups of friends drinking drinks I hadn't seen before. Let me silence you phone, you're gonna cause trouble. Of course it's you, Kevin. <laughs> A drink coaster? Hmm. I don't know. How would I make a drink coaster? That depends on what how you want it. <laughs> I never made one before. Make a ghost girl related item? If they're here all the time, they would feel special. Yeah, but I don't think... I only have like a few people that are here all the time. Um, so I, I feel like even even for people that I hear all the time, I don't know how you feel about like a ghost kitty, like the ghost kitty, um, as an item you would like hang up on your wall or something, you know? <laughs> Hi Spin, how you doing? Good morning. The cat booty? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do those as, um small giveaway items so I, I plan on doing three three winners i think one person will get the rug that i plan on making one person will probably get like some like earrings or keychain related items that i'm gonna make um i haven't thought about a third one it might be the same thing <laughs> but yeah the the magnet idea that's a good idea i think ghost kitty would be cute the cat booty okay I'll have to order it from Redbubble because <laughs> I don't know how to make those myself, but we'll think about that. Hi, Hunt. Welcome in. Good morning. Oh, Spin, do you know Enzo? Do you guys know each other? Twitch is so small. By sheer chance, we managed to nab the same table that we had last time when the couple previously occupying it 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 get up to leave okay that might be best seats in the house she takes off her jacket and woolen scarf drape them over the back of her chair they must be if we keep sitting here 
I get a laugh out of Valerie. She laughs at everything, that girl. Same like me. Oh, you just met. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I just met Spin, too. Uh, Spin, um... I met Spin playing some, uh, Dead by Daylight. Which I like Dead by Daylight. Just hanging out in the wonderful stream. Oh, I appreciate that. Hey, Ghost Cutie! Ghost Cutie I met recently, too. I've been meeting some, um... I've been meeting more, uh, PNG tubers. Which is pretty cool. And I- the- the, the dinosaurs? Those- those are very creative. I haven't seen anyone- had anyone make damn dinosaurs before. <laughs> um, but I haven't had many PNG tuber friends, um, for a long time. But, like, now I'm just meeting people. I'm like, wow, these are, like, super cute. <laughs> How's everybody doing? How you doing, Ghost Cutie? We're playing, um, a lesbian romance visual novel today. And I think we're about to get into, like, you know, the intimacy, finally. <laughs> we sit down, but this time Valerie takes the seat facing away from the stage. Um, was I take the seat facing towards it? I noticed last time that the drum kit on stage was an Ashton. But now that I have a better view of the whole stage, I can also see that electric keyboard is a Cas Casio? Queso? I don't know. I don't know instruments. <laughs> I stare at the stage for a little too long. I know this because Valerie catches my attention by waving her hand in front of my face. Do you want to get up there and play? I'm taken aback, shuffling awkwardly in my seat to face my body and an angle away from the stage. No thanks. Are you shy? My eyes roll with disagreement. I don't want to brag, but it's not that. I've played in a packed full theaters for competitions before. You have, that's amazing. How have you not known this? <laughs> You want dino chicken nuggets now? Yeah, that sounds that sounds dope. About to decorate my tree. So ooh, ooh, so excited. Nice, nice. We talked about the last night. Um, I think you're making like an ocean tree, which I used to I used to make ocean trees. Um, while I was in the navy, I made like navy ocean kind of related stuff with the boats, and ornaments, and things. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have no tree anymore. I kind of skipped on Christmas for a few years because of my whole divorce thing. I met my husband, like, around Christmas time. So, it, like, it made me sad. Um, but now I don't think about it anymore. It just happens to be a fun fact. Oh, that happened during Christmas. But it doesn't bother me anymore. But I did skip on Christmas for a few years because of it. I'll have to post it once it's done. Yeah. I would love to love to see. Well, it's less of a glimmer and more of a blinding spotlight. Thank you. Yes, I've been playing since young, so playing in front of a crowd isn't a problem for me. So why not show off a little? I'm not much of a show-off, unlike someone I know. My lips curl into a cheeky smile, following my statement. Valerie catches on to who I'm referring to and lets out a short giggle. I'm not that much of a show-off, am I? I got my divorce papers the day after Christmas five years ago? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that it's a speedy process for me. I mean, I've never been divorced before, so I don't know, like, the entire process. Um, the actual getting my husband to say, yes, let's do this, that took a long-ass time. 
I told him I wanted to be divorced by the, the age of 30. I'm, I'm 31, and I'm almost going to be 32 in March. Um, and even that, even for me to say I wanted to be divorced by 30, I was giving him a lot of time. And I've given him a lot of time. And it's just... that man <laughs> never knew you were married yeah it's it's the ghost girl lore yeah it's not it's not a pretty story <laughs> question card okay all right i I lost where we were, so you might get a question that we've already answered before. Mm, what was the last movie you watched? Because I know there are people in here that have watched movies recently. It's probably Godzilla. Have we, oh, have you got have you got caught up in um, Sex Education? By the way, Top Gun, Top Gun. Who oh, I am? Um, which, what, what are you? Oh, Ma oh, Mario. The Mario movie is a good movie. Are you caught up with like me and Gothic, or did you like? Where, which one? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're like on season three now. A Maze Runner? Isn't that? Those are com some older movies, isn't it? What's the last movie I saw? I think the last time I saw a movie was probably a movie night in Discord. I don't remember. That was for Halloween. But we're having movie night again. You know, check your calendars. If you guys um, are in Discord, I made them events. And they're also in the schedule if you want to see where the movie is movie nights are as well as the community nights i got goose goose duck on the 22nd of this month and jackbox gaming on the 31st and some dead by daylight days but dead by daylight you know it's not hard to get into dead by daylight day <laughs> i'm always playing dead by daylight last movie i saw was beetlejuice that was with us right <laughs> Top Gun was very good. I'm lucky to be in a good space with my marriage and the wife. I'll hopefully, hopefully celebrate 10 years married next August. I'm sorry to hear you had a rough one. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, it, it takes a while to get to know someone and to make sure they're not crazy. <laughs> like, even, um... Even knowing someone for a year sometimes isn't enough for sometimes. Um, hell, I've had friends that I've been friends with for like over 10 years um, will just like kind of ghost me out of nowhere. And I'm like, and that, that that's not just one person. That's like multiple people or you have like a small argument. And I'm like, I guess we can't recover from this. Um, it's just really silly. Like, to be in a relationship with someone, like, in a commitment-wise, romantic-wise, and all that, like, that's... It's... It shouldn't be a lot of work, but it is a lot of work. It takes a lot of trust and communication, and two people to say that, like, we want to make this work. And I, I've just... I've, I don't know, I've come, in my life, I've kind of come across a lot of people that just don't want to make things work. They just don't care enough. So if you got someone solid, you know, you're doing, you, you, you're doing, you're doing well in life. <laughs> if you're not crazy, you're not normal in my opinion. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm totally fine with knowing that I am crazy. <laughs> the Oppenheimer, am I saying that right? Oppenheimer? That movie came out with Barbie, right? Crazy makes things fun, in my opinion. Oh, it depends. 
depends what kind of crazy. Because I just called my husband crazy, remember that? That was not the good type of crazy. You have good good crazy and bad crazy. <laughs> but I, I I get worried sometimes somebody watching my uh, my streams. Hopefully he's not. Hope I, I always have that like that fear of like, oh this is my safe space to like talk to my friends, right? But it's a broadcast, like anyone can be watching. So, I'm like, I, I wouldn't know what their username is. I even, like, even myself. Um, like, you could have ex-best friends um, watching your channel. Um, there's been a time where I've gone into an ex-best friend's Twitch channel because I didn't know she streamed. Um, and I just kind of caught her streaming one day. I was like, I was not trying to watch her stream. I was just like... Oh, I just like found her Twitch page. I'm like, oh, okay. But like, I don't want to be there. <laughs> but yeah. We live in the day and age where once people disagree about anything, all they do is ghost due to the overabundance of people to meet in dating apps. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, if you live in a small town, um, people are more inclined to uh, try to make things work. But if you, we live in the age where, like, even if you are in a small town, there's the internet. Like, you can just easily meet new people. So, we just rather, like, you know, throw something old away, go for something new, and think, this must be better, right? And it's not. People think the grass is greener on the other side. Um, grass is greener where you water the grass, okay? <laughs> yeah, small town hype. I, I like small towns, but, like, to meet people in small towns is pretty hard. Um, I don't- I wouldn't mind living in a small town once I, like, am established relationship-wise. Like, yes, let's go get married and then live in a small town, but, like, to meet in a small town is very hard. Alright. Don't pee on the grass. Don't pee on the grass, no. <laughs> Appreciate the grass. In her case, being a show-off isn't so bad. It certainly helped to get my attention. So you've never had a problem before, man? In front of a crowd? I think back as far as I can, I do recall a few times when I when the nerves got got to me, but it never stopped me from performing. Performing in front of a crowd, no, but I guess there have been times when I don't do my best because one reason or another. What about yourself? I always do my best. She says it with so much confidence, perhaps too much, but I play for fun so a lot of people don't take me seriously. Gee, really? No way. I lay the sarcasm on thick. N no, I'm serious. Why can't I have fun while I'm taking things while taking things seriously? I picked up a guitar when I was a kid because I had this grand plan to use music to rule the world. Of course she did. But since then, I've learned to play a whole range of instruments just because I thought it would be fun. And if I didn't enjoy myself, I stopped bothering with it. Valerie doesn't seem like the type of person to give up on something so easily, after all. She was quite persistent when asking me to perform her song for her. I didn't take you for a quitter. I'm not. I just know if something is not worthwhile, then it's not worth my while. She puts extra emphasis on the last three words. But I don't worry, but don't worry, Cadence, you're worth my while. <laughs> wow, she always seems to have the best lines ready. How, we haven't even, like, established that we're gay. I think it's just, like, it's just always an option there. I'll be back. Going to cook lunch. Okay, no problem. 
Thanks, Valerie. I will admit, I had more fun tonight than I thought I would. Food comes out piping hot, with plenty of toppings on top. Um, Valerie even convinces me to try some of her meal. Greasy... Nacho bake on top of a spud? A meat-filled carb overload. But a delicious one at that. A few other dining... Patrons have a crack at the instruments on stage. Thank you for the lurk, Ghost Cutie. Most were kids, and most weren't very good. I want to have kids on the stage. <laughs> but Valerie did get to show a little girl how to hold the guitar. Seeing her try to wrap her little, tiny little fingers around the fretboard um, was an absolute sight. At the end of the night, Valerie insists on paying for our meal. Let me pay for my own meal. Nah, this is my treat. I'm the one that invited you out. I try to force a $20 bill onto her, but Valerie keeps her hands in her pockets to refuse acceptance. Valerie. I try a stern tone, but it doesn't have the desired effect on her. Instead of giving in, Valerie skips away while laughing out loud. She would be so childish. How old is she? How is she older than me? We walk along the busy streets at night. Lights from the restaurants illuminate our path and lead us a little clearing in the middle of town. There are no more people around, and the street lamps are dim, but bright enough to see the cracks on the ground. At least when we're paying attention and not walking backwards like Valerie is. Whoa! Her foot gets caught between two edges, and she stumbles backwards, making an effort to grab- I make an effort to grab onto her. Hey! To my surprise, I naturally- Managed to catch her by my arm. She freezes midway while falling. With her upper body leading back at a 45 degree angle, she shifts all her weight onto her legs, which are spread wide and bent at the knees, lowering her center of gravity. Her vibrant blue eyes are wide with surprise and her mouth open from calling out in shock. She looks like a baby giraffe trying to walk for the first time. It's impossible now. It's impossible not to laugh. You find this very funny, eh? Please hurry up and pull me up. Okay, okay. Hold your horses. I lean back while pulling Valerie's weight towards me. Once we are both grounded and stable, Valerie wraps her arms around me and gives me a quick but warm hug. My hero. I feel a heated tingle that I'm not familiar with rush through my body. Oh no. <laughs> okay, you can let, let go of me now, drama queen. She is already at arm's length by the time I finish talking with a cheeky grin on her face. We continue walking along the street and the air is cold against my cheeks. I should have worn an extra jacket, or perhaps even a beanie. Small clouds are formed when I breathe out onto my hands before rubbing them together. It helps a little, but my fingers are still exposed. Valerie seems fine with the weather. Oh, uh, whilst I am ready to curl up in bed with an extra warm blanket and hot copa. But I will admit, the starlight night sky of Quebec is rather beautiful. A choo! My nose feels stuffy. Bless you. She reaches both hands into her pockets and pulls out a packet of tissues, handling, handing me one with a smile. 
Thank you. As I take a couple of seconds to blow my nose, Valerie has already unwrapped her scarf from her neck and wrapped it around my own. It smells like perfume. What are you doing? Helping you keep warm? I unwrap her scarf and try to hand it back. But now you'll be cold. She gently pushes it back towards me, taking my frozen fingers in her hands and warming them with her natural body heat. How is she so warm? I'm used to this weather. Besides, your hands are your greatest tools. As a musician, I wouldn't want you getting frostbite. With the excuses. <laughs> Without much resistance on my part, I haven't learned not to fight against Valerie. She unwraps the scarf around my neck. Oh, well, she rewraps the scarf. Again, the smell of her perfume surrounds me. I guess I should say thanks. She tucks one end into the front, making sure that it's fitted nice and snug. It definitely does the job. I'm feeling my body warm up already. You look like a baby kangaroo in a pouch. My eyes narrow with disapproval. <laughs> Excuse me? That's cute. The vibrant smile on her face outshines the stars in the sky. I should be annoyed being compared to a joey, but lately I'm finding it more and more difficult to stay mad at her. We're gonna get an ad break in like three minutes, y'all. Flattery will get you nowhere, Valerie. I withdraw my hands from hers. Turning away and continuing down the footpath, I pull her scarf up to cover my nose. But in fact, it's covering more than just that. Her scarf really does keep me warm. Mm-hmm. It's just like something interesting about like queer um like romantic movies and whatnot. Like is it already established that they are out? Um, like obviously her clothing looks very gay, but like that's not there, has, there, has there been any conversation to say, like, this person is gay? Is that something that everyone in the audience knows about? Um, or is it something like we have to come out and say, Oh, I am developing feelings, and I've never felt this before. I'm going to tell this person. Those are, those are the questions I have. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the music is playing in my head. It's a beautiful day today. There's been a skip in my step since last night's dinner with um, Cadence. She's been opening up to me more lately and talking about her childhood. That has definitely given me more insight into her as a person. I've always thought she looked perfect sitting in front of a piano. But now I understand why. Being raised by professional musicians and performing in competitions as a child, it's no wonder she's so comfortable around a piano. Achoo! Oh, I hope I'm not getting sick. I told Cadence I'd be fine when I gave her my scarf last night, but perhaps I should have taken it back when we parted ways. tight. My attention is drawn to the seat behind me, where Xavier sits with a pen in his hands and a grimace on his face. Don't turn this way, you'll get me sick. Well, hello to you too. Are you coming down with something? I reach into my pockets to pull out a tissue. I hope not. Our final assessment is coming up soon. That's right, have things been going well with you and your pianist? They have, actually. 
Oh, I guess the ad was going on. <laughs> I thought it was like a warning. <laughs> All right, well, ad break is over. Welcome back to everyone who was not subbed. We had dinner tonight, last night, and went for a romantic walk along the da dazzling streets of Quebec. Wow, and she didn't try to escape. I rest my arm on my back breast as I glare at Xavier for being wow. an ever <laughs> sarcastic person that he is. I know, I can't I can't ever say wow without thinking of Owen Wilson. <laughs> no. I wonder I won't humor him any further. I spin back around to face the front, crossing my arms in Def defense. Defense? He snickers behind me. As, a prof as the professor takes the front stage, he begins his lecture. I try my best to pay attention, but I'm still distracted by the music playing in my head. My final composition is almost finished, and there are a few things that need to be tweaked. Cadence will also have to also have her work to do. The first years have assessments and exams coming up in a couple of weeks. This means the amount of time we can spend together will decrease soon. The music in my head begins to crackle. Crackle? Like an old vinyl record that's nearing its expiry. Hmm. I will need to make the most of our time together before the end of the year, but what other excuses can I use to get her to come out with me? <laughs> hey, Moxie. <laughs> um, it's almost afternoon, so good afternoon, maybe? How are you? It's getting cold in here, and I want to put the heater on, but I'm afraid that it'll be too much power. Because I think it turned off my computer um, the other day. But I think we, like, fixed that problem. But I'm still scared to do it while I'm streaming. So I'm going to put this on. <laughs> How are you doing today? ready. <laughs> Doing wonderful, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're having a good Sunday so far. I, I spilled coffee on me. <laughs> I like... I was telling people I'm going live, and I had a different shirt on, and then as soon as I was, like, about to put my coffee down on the desk, I spilled coffee on me, and I'm like, oh, I had to change my shirt. <laughs> but other than that, it's been, it's been fine. I'm startled by the loud sneeze behind me, along with everyone else sitting in our lecture hall. When I twist around, Xavier has his hands covering his face to hide his embarrassment. He lowers one hand to reveal his irritated expression. I told you not to turn this way. He jokingly blames me. At least I think it's a joke. Before covering his face again. That's when it hits me. I lean a little further back so I could whisper loud enough for Xavier to hear me. But not loud enough to disturb the lecture. Psst. What are Opal and Quin Quinley doing this weekend? I don't know. Why? Let's have dinner. I'll introduce everyone to Cadence. Your pianist? Yeah. He raises an eyebrow, accommodated with a cocky smile. Accompanied with a co cocky smile. You're not worried. We'll scare her off. I scoffed under my breath. Please. 
Before I can finish my sentence, Xavier cuts me off. You're right. If you haven't scared her off yourself by now, then nothing will. That deserves an eye roll. Even with his hand covering his mouth, I can tell that he's got the same old arrogant grin on his face. I'll ask Opal. I don't think either of us are doing anything this weekend. Perfect. I give Xavier a thumbs up before turning back to face the front of the theater. The professor is still speaking. It's at this point that I realize I've missed most of the lecture. And that's it. Have a good afternoon, everyone. Scratch that. I missed the whole lecture. Not relatable. <laughs> Gaines is already practicing our composition by the time I reach the music room. My footsteps are drowned out by the melody resonating throughout the halls. I love the sound, the sound of my song finally coming to life. I reach the door, and as always, Cadence doesn't hear me entering. I watch her in silence. The way her fingers skip and dance along the keys have always been fascinating to watch. I wonder if my hands move the same way when I play. Probably not. She doesn't miss a beat. Each note is played in perfect time, and for a brief moment, I catch a glimpse of a smile on her face. How wonderful. Achoo! And I just had to go and ruin the moment. The music stops as a shocked cadence spins around with a fright in her eye. She sees me leaning up by the door. Valerie, when did you get here? Not too long ago. My nose sniffles as I enter the room. Are you feeling alright? Yeah, I just have a little bit of a runny nose. Oh, that's right. Cadence hops off the bench and walks over to a bag that is sitting on the floor. She opens it before reaching in to pull out a familiar wooden scarf. I need to return this to you. She approaches me with the scarf in hand. Thank you for lending it to me. It was no problem, my little baby kangaroo. She returns my scarf with a grimace on her face. She lays the scar sarcasm on thick. I'm joking, thanks for bringing it back. Well, I wasn't going to keep it now, was I? Would you like one? I could buy you a scarf as a thank you for playing my song. Oh, there's no need. I can always just buy one myself. I guess that's fine if she doesn't need one, but I would like to give her something. The thought of her wearing something I have given her is a nice, is nice, a symbol of our friendship. I'll get you one. She rolls her chocolate brown eyes in mild annoyance. I used to have um, two of my best friends their well, ex-best friends, they both gave me the same necklace. I had two necklaces that were exactly the same, but I I, I did not mind, because, like, if I lost one, at least I had another one, but it was nice. I'm like, where did you guys get these? And they're like, I don't even remember where I got mine. I'm like, but you both got me the same necklace. <laughs> um, it was nice. I like that you can wear things that your friends got you. And it's nice to see your friends wear things that you got them. It's like, oh, you did a good job <laughs> on getting something they liked. Hmm. What was the point of even asking me if you're going to do it anyway? I'd like to give you the allure of choice. I show an innocent smile, but she isn't buying it. You're ter terrible, Valerie. 
She tries to maintain a straight face, but she can't hold back the little grim that creeps its way to her lips. I have learnt not to try and argue against you. You've made up your mind. You sound just like my friends. Speaking of which, are you free this weekend? Why am I asking? Of course she's free. Uh, why? You should join me and my friends for dinner this weekend. Oh, hey, Dan Leo. Thank you for the shy hello. Why? She inquires again with more caution. I thought we had a gotten past this. I just thought it would be nice if you... But if you need a better reason, one of my friends is doing the same course as me. His friends are performing his final composition for him as well, so it might be a good opportunity to compare how we're both doing. Is anyone in your course actually performing their own song? I'm sure some are, but it was actually Xavier that gave me the idea to find someone else before my composition. Xavier is my friend. I can play it just fine, but it sounds so much better when you're the one sitting in front of the piano. You're just saying that to butter me up. No, I'm being 100% serious. Whenever I watch you play, I'm completely memorized by the way the sound, the music sounds like it's a whole other level. I could never play like you. The way you elite. I never heard of that, that word right there. So many emotions with so few chords. Sometimes my heart even skips a beat. Okay, I get it. Please stop with all the flattery. A beautiful shade of rose red blooms over Cadence's face. She tries to cover her embarrassment with her hands, but even her palms have become flushed. I'll meet your friends on the on the weekend. Just please don't talk like that about me in front of them. Should I tell her that it's already too late for that? Probably best not to. <laughs> Great, well, go to my favorite restaurant. Ugh, the La Pop de Tear. Oh, she's cute when she tries. I can't hold back the giggle that escapes my lips. <laughs> uh, La, La Pop Pape de Tear. I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> oh, I think that's like the same way I said it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, tear. No, you're saying tear like in teardrop, but it's tear, tear, eh? Is it always like tear? Oh, tear? Like tear, tear. Oh, see, this is the problems I have with reading. You're saying tear like teardrop, and it's tear when you tear a piece of paper. <laughs> and that was funny that one time, I remember that in stream, someone was trying to give me the pronunciation about their name. And I was like, oh, oh, tear. And and then Axe was like, no, no, tear. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds exactly the same when you say it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You and your accent. Well, your accent's absolutely adorable. Is that why y'all... Do you like my, my accent? My accent of, like, not reading properly <laughs> although i i i think i recently saw someone um possibly on twitch probably you think it's adorable kevin says it's interesting to watch me read and like how like i will say like what's written there but i'll say it in like a different way or it might be in a different order but it's what it's supposed to be um it's a little my dyslexia. It's a little of me, like, not being able to read certain words. <laughs> um, but I did see someone recently, probably on Twitch, because I'm on Twitch all the time, but I think they said, um, there's, okay. The cereal, 
Have you guys heard of the cereal, the, the Rice Krispies cereal? I say it Rice Krispy. Um, I think someone else said it the same thing. They also said Rice Krispy. And I don't think it's supposed to be said that way. I think it's like, crisp, crisp, crispy? Cripsy? I, I, see, I, I'll say words wrong, um, and then in my brain, um, that's, that's, they're, they're like, logged in the brain. That's how you're supposed to say that word, because that's the way that I said it the first time, and it takes me a long time to get that pronunciation out, and like, be able to, um, say it correctly later on. Something is different when written text, but it means the same. Yeah. The crisps, crisp, hold on. I can't read the whole thing. Crispies? 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 Oh, is it crispies? <laughs> I say wrist crispies. Yeah. You've taken me a couple of times already, so I think I'll be able to meet you there this afternoon. This- this weekend. Gotcha, good. I think it's you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys liking my disability. <laughs> really, I don't mind coming to get you. I really like- I've almost like given up on streaming because I'm like, how am I supposed to, like, be a streamer if I can't read properly? Thankfully, I've just met, like, really nice people that don't mind. Well, alright. I guess after all the testing, or teasing, from before, she's put up her walls again. I should learn to give her some space. But if I had done that... From the, from the very beginning, we wouldn't be here where we are today. Okay, I'll meet you at the restaurant. Around six? She takes a lock of her hair and starts twirling it between her fingers. It's a cute trait that I've seen her do before. I don't know if that's cute. That's like nervousness. <laughs> Alright, six is good. I can't wait. Six ten rolls around, and I'm left staring at the door with Quinley, feeling excited whenever it flings open, but disappointed when the one entering isn't Cadence. Oh no, she's late. Cheer up, Buttercup. I'm sure she'll be here soon. Or maybe she's not coming at all. Those are, um, that's always so scary. Back in the day when people didn't have phones, that was a scary thought. I went to a birthday party once. There was no party. It was canceled. <laughs> I was just like looking around. Where is everyone? There's no everyone. It's gone. I think I got. I think I got pity invited though. I don't think I was supposed to be invited. <laughs> But I'm like, I'm one of those people that like, um, I don't know, I, I'm, I care about people, I make efforts for people, I end up overhearing, and they were like, I guess we gotta invite, oh, yeah, I don't know, I, I, it was back when I was like, really young kid, but even then, it's just, you know, th those kind of things happen sometimes. Um, I, 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 I've, sometimes it happens because, like, you're in a friend group, and, like, you're friends with all these people, but then there'll be that, that one person in there that you're, like, we're just not vibing. But you're, you feel like you're kind of forced to be their friend. I feel that way a little bit, sometimes. And I'm like, I'm not gonna force it. Um, I, I go out of my way to make friends, like, all the time. Like... I'm usually the person that approaches other people. No one really approaches me. Um, at least it feels that way. Um, 
in some cases, but... Yeah, I, I, I just kind of want to give people their space. Like, if, if the vibe isn't there, I will let you come to me. Because, like, I've had enough of trying to be people's friend. And I'm kind of overlooked a little bit sometimes. Like, I've been friends with people, and then they'll tell me. They're like, oh, I just don't like talking that much. And I'm like, okay. Like, they don't want to initiate the conversation. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I will... I'll be that person for you that in initiates. <laughs> and then and then you kind of like the the friendship keeps going and you're like I'm as the person who always initiates the conversation, I just feel like I really don't think you want to have these conversations at all. I think maybe maybe they're just being nice and saying that they they just maybe they just don't want to talk. But I don't know that because they don't say that. That's me, I don't start any conversations. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, if people give me the green light, I don't mind being the person that initiates. But if it happens too often, I I'm starting to feel like, oh, this person just doesn't want to be friends. Because some people are just, they just don't know how to be honest. Which is like, it's fair, like, it's pretty hard to tell someone, hey, I don't want to be friends. Maybe they'll just leave eventually. Hmm. Yeah, we get the real talks a lot here. Hmm. <laughs> I had like, I had one friend that like, contacted me the other day. And I'm like, damn, we're still friends? I didn't even know. <laughs> Because I'm like, I'm always the person that initiates, and like, I thought they forgot about me. But, you know, once in a while, people surprise you. Alright. Opal playfully slaps her brother's arm. If it had been me, would he have no reservations about returning the gesture, but towards his sister? Uh, he would never raise a hand against her out of respect and fear. Mostly fear. Opal rarely gets mad, but when she does, she is a force to be reckoned with. Instead, he merely rubs the spot where she hit him. Even though the smirk on his face would suggest he isn't actually in much pain. I'm kidding. She'll be here. Just as I'm starting to have my doubts, the front door flings open yet again. There she is. <laughs> you feel that? Yeah. With excitement in my eyes, I'm relieved and overjoyed to see a familiar blonde-haired girl entering the restaurant. Oh, you know what? What else? Or well, if we're going to be on the Deep Talks Friends conversation. I still have one of my ex-best friends will be liking my Instagram stories. I'm like, I'm not friends with you. And I, I, I feel like this is what people do when they like don't know how to initiate conversations at all. Um, they will just try to like your stuff on social media or give you a friend request or something in hopes that you are going to like initiate the conversation. Um, I'm like, no, if you want to be friends, you have to make an effort. I'm so tired of making the effort all the time. I'm exhausted. But yeah. And yeah, it, 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 it's, it's been bothering me. But I have no reason to block, um, to block them. You know, like, I, I don't mind being friends. Like, I, I'm okay with, like, rekindling friendships. Like, nothing... Nothing bad happens to where that we would have to be, like, not, absolutely not be friends. It's just, like, the, the friendship just died out because, like, you don't talk to me. That's all. And I was sick of getting ignored. I was sick of getting ghosted. Um, and I was straightforward with them. I told them, like, this is, this is not okay. And this is why I'm not going to talk to you anymore. And I was, I was, they, they know. So now, 
now that you know that information, you decided to try to add me and follow me and like my posts and stuff. I'm like, this is kind of just kind of an out of the blue. Like it's been years. I'm like, if you got something to say, just say it. <laughs> but to be fair, like you'll have like, uh, I don't know, this might be just me, but your ex relationships, they'll do the same thing sometimes. And I ask people like, why do they do that? And they're like, oh, well, they don't want to date you, but you're still hot. <laughs> Um, still, it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> uh, anyway. It is what it is. It is, what it is. Uh, people just continue to, com to confuse me. Ooh. Sounds about right. Yeah. I don't know. I have like I think I have one ex that like actively tries to avoid me for I don't know some people are just weird I'm like I'm totally for a okay to be friends with anybody but um, I don't know people people got things going on in their brains that's fair that's fair <laughs> I'm friends with all my exes for the most part. Yeah. I feel like it's not... I mean... In my case, like, I've had... If I'm, if I'm like, dating someone, I had, like, a very strong connection with them. Because I don't usually have strong connections with anybody. So the fact that, like, I'm dating them, that, that there was a very strong connection. And we're very... We vibe very good on, like, a friendship level. Um, so I wouldn't want to, like, ruin that friendship. I want- I still want the friendship. Yeah. Like, they're kind of, like, your best friend still. Like, I still consider one of my exes, like, one of my best friends. We're just definitely not compatible romantically, or, like, in any way, other than friendship. Um. Mmm. It's like, it's kind of hard, like, some people say, like, oh, you should never be friends with your exes, like, oh, those are red flags, but to some people, being friends with your exes and, like, having a good relationship with your exes, like, you don't hate each other, those are green flags to some folks, so it just depends <laughs> who you're talking to. Val, you're going to embarrass her. 20 bucks says she runs away. Xavier loses that bet as Cadence slowly makes her way towards her table. You made it! She made it. Yes, yeah, sorry for not getting here on time. You're 10 minutes late. Now she's closer. I get a better look at her. Oh, you want a question? Hold on. <laughs> We did that question before. I know what you're gonna say. Oh no, I did these ones. I didn't shuffle good enough. Hold on. <laughs> but I also need to get more question cards. Let's see. It's not, it's not a very big deck. And that was terrible shuffle because it is art cards. They are index cards. I will just kind of shuffle in. All right. Um, we did this question for Gothic the other day, but I don't think you were here, Meg. Do you have a silly nickname? Chat, do you guys have a silly nickname? Do you remember that question? Were you here for that? I think I, I think I've I've kind of my silly nickname is Carl. <laughs> I love it. Growing up, I went by... Is it Slim or Slime? 
slimmer slime? <laughs> I'm kind of thinking... Slim? Okay, slim. Yeah, because you are slim. Hmm. My, my aunt used to call me Little Harriet because her name is Harriet and she thought I looked like her and I'm little. Um, and then Spoopy called me Hair Little. And then that kind of went around, I think. I think some people are calling me Care Little. It's like Caroline, but you put the little in there. And then one of my exes called me Little Bit because I would say a little bit a lot. Another friend called me daddy. We've had this conversation before. But Mag, did you have a silly nickname? I don't remember if you told me. I think IDK is really silly. I think it's funny. Ages ago, my friend signed me up for a Smash Bros tournament under Aquafina, and we both still laugh at it. I've done it this day. Daddy, I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aquafina? I mean, that's a that's a cool inside joke, though. That is funny. Yeah, my friend... I don't... I think he was trying to call me mommy one day, and I was like, No, I'm daddy. <laughs> He's like, fine, you can be daddy. It's like, I want to be daddy sometimes, too. I'm like, no, you don't get to be daddy. <laughs> so, yeah, my, my nickname was daddy. Um... It was funny. I told chat this before. I'm like, it happened um, in one of my recent times I was dating someone and he met my friend and my friend was calling me daddy in front of this person I was dating and he's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he's like, he's just casually he's like, oh yeah, I call her daddy. It's fine. <laughs> um, I just think it's funny because um, like you know, I, I identify as a cis woman, like, my pronouns are she, her, but I just think it's funny to call myself Carl sometimes, and daddy. Like, I'm, I'm a gender non-conforming, so, like, it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. I think it confuses other people. I think other people, like, um, when I tell my friends, like, oh, my nickname's Carl, they think it's, like, they, they won't understand. They think it's a joke. And it is a joke, but it's, it's also real. <laughs> that was my, um, that was my nickname on my Navy ship. Just because my ex would jokingly call me Carl. And... It became so common that other people picked up on that and they're like, oh, that must be her name. Her, na her name must be Carl. <laughs> and they called me Carl. Um, because I just don't like, um, because my name's Caroline. You should have interviewed as Carl. I should have. And I, and I have thought, I was thinking, you know, as my name tag, I always kind of think, there was one job that I did put my name tag as Carl. Um, no one asked any questions, it's fine. Um, I almost did that, um, for Six Flags, but I'm like, no, they're not ready for that. They're not, they're not gonna understand. <laughs> so I just paid it, um, I had my, my middle name on my name tag, um, Allie. Um, but when you say it's like your middle name, some people don't really take it seriously as a name. Um... And I'm like, well, you can call me Allie or you can call me K. People usually just call me K because like it's just one letter. It's easy for them to say. So people just typically just call me K. You would have thrown Andrea for a loop, yeah, yeah. And and then I worked with a Carl. Carl got um um hired after me, so we kind of both been Carl. I wouldn't have worked. <laughs> Um, yeah. But it's just funny, like, my my ID card says Allie, my name tag says K. Um, not a lot of people call me Allie, but, um, it will, like, kind of 
I still respond to it though if I hear Allie's around me. I'm like, who are you talking about me? Oh. Yeah. But I don't like, like, my name is Caroline with a K and a Y. Um, but no one likes calling me Caroline because it's too long. Um, but Carol, I don't like the name Carol. I don't know why. Just don't. Just take the O out and you get Carl. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. It just makes me giggle every time you say it. Hey Kay, how has the stream been so far? I've been lurking for a bit. It's been good. How are you doing, Mac? I've been lurking in your streams too. How you doing? We're just chatting while we're playing this visual novel. I don't know if people are caught up. I, I'm not so great at reading. <laughs> Oh hey, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. <sighs> oh, let me get back to reading a little bit. But feel free, if anyone wants to chat, you can always stop me. If I like missed up any if I missed any comment, just let me know. Okay, her hair is brushed and styled neatly. While her musical earrings catch my eye as they glimmer in the light. Her lips are glossy and a slightly pinker shade than usual. Her clothes are unfamiliar but stylish and suit her well. Oh, she's dressing up a little bit. Are oh, you brewing coffee? Nice. I'm drinking coffee. I spilled coffee on myself, Mac. <laughs> I, I posted it on like uh, Twitter and Instagram. Like, hey, I'm going live and I had a different shirt on because it was like right before stream started, like five minutes before stream started, I was going to sit down with my coffee. I spilled it on myself, so I had to change my shirt. <laughs> Thank you for the little ghost hug. Um, as she takes the seat next to me, I get a whimpse of pleasant floral scent. Also another thing, guys. Um, I bought um, some perfume recently, some essential oils, and then when I got home, this is this is me like I don't it just smells nice but when I got home I'm like oh this sound this kind of smells like smells like cologne why would you spill co coffee on yourself <laughs> because I'm clumsy I'm very clumsy I'm um yeah I'm a silly I'm a silly duck okay um but yeah, this is, a uh, me being gender non-conforming, like, it's even, it's funny how, like, society will even gender, um, scents, like, uh, perfume, cologne, like, cologne is typically for men, um, perfumes typically for women, although it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be gendered, but it is, society kind of did that, um, but yeah, I bought some like essential oils to make as like perfume, and then I got home and I realized, oh no, it smells like cologne. <laughs> Which again, something I'm okay with, but society is not okay with it. Um, like I've been told that, oh, why are you like, why do you smell like a man? As in the fact that like, I just like men scents. Um, like I've been told like, hey, don't use that that soap because it smells like a plant it smells like forest which i guess men are only allowed to smell like forests um yeah society is dumb to be honest there was one day when i was taking a sip of coffee and instead i drank a bit too much and i spilled some on myself that's me a lot of days <laughs> I tried to go for neutral sense if I go for anything. Yeah, cause I didn't, but I didn't even know. I didn't even know Mag. I didn't realize until I got home. Cause I just like, I just smelt it and I'm like, oh, it smells, it smells good. And yeah, I didn't realize. I don't like the smell of many colognes. Oh really? What's going on, Baradius? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what cologne is supposed to smell like. Like I don't, I just know that the one that I bought, well, the, 
the scent that I bought, the, the essential oil that I bought, I'm like, I got home and it didn't, it doesn't smell like something that would be perfume. But me, I'm just, I, as gender non-conforming, I, this is who I am, but I try to conform, this is the, this is the bad part, that I try to conform because I don't want harassment. I, I try to look like a woman because I don't want to get misgendered. I don't want to be treated any differently. Um, which is kind of sad that we have to do that, but that's that's the reality. Um, so when I when I bought the the essential oil that I got, I'm like, oh fuck. I, I didn't do the thing that society wants me to do to not get bothered. If it smells good, then fuck them and enjoy it. Yeah. When I spilled coffee on myself, I was like, really? This happened? I know it was me this morning. I'm like, Caroline, what'd you do? <laughs> I'm having a good morning. I'm early for stream. You sit down and I'm like, oh, fuck. A lot of people do, do that. I get that. Society's weird sometimes. Society is weird. For sure. It boggles my mind sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's why sometimes I think, uh, um, actually, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna go on a, a rant, and I don't want to go on a rant. I will, I'll be quiet. <laughs> As she takes the seat next to me, I'd get a whimps of pleasant floral scent. Wait, did she put all this effort, extra effort, into her appearance today to impress my friends? A sense of glee and pride swells up inside me, um, expressed in a form of toothy smile that I cannot surpass, suppress. You look happy now that she's here. That would be because I am. Hi, it's so nice to finally meet you. Valerie's told us so much about you. Stretching her hand across the table, Opal introduces herself with a overly smell friendly smile. I'm Opal. Cadence glances between the hand in front of her. Or, yeah, glances between. And then towards me. Then back to Opal's hand. Hmm. Then she takes it with caution. Hello, uh, Cadence, as you already seem to know. They shake hands for longer than Cadence seems comfortable with. Hmm. Especially the conversation I see there on Twitter sometimes. I see some people say... And I'm like, do people really act like this? Like, can't people act decently and behave like normal people? Honestly, I wouldn't go deeper in the topic either, but yeah, it just shocks me a bit. Yeah, yeah. There's some crazy stuff that happens on, like, Twitter and Twitch. Um, like, people just think that they can... There's, like, a lot... Of, there's, like, a lot of, um... Like, bullies, I guess, on Twitter, which is weird. But, like, Twitter is a public... It's a public forum. So, like, that's not surprising. Um, it's like easy to find people on Twitter. So like, there, there's there's going to be those same people on different platforms. It's just going to be harder to find them. That's the thing. Um, and then on Twitch, like I told people this the other day. Like I haven't had much problems with Twitch in a long time. I think it's been a year since anyone has come into my chat to really bother me. allows people to feel safe disrespecting the same stuff they never would have the balls to say into someone's face in real life yeah yeah i it 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 boggles my mind i i think i was in like i was in a vegan forum um on facebook the other day and it like it made me so mad because it was other vegans getting upset about another vegan for like 
it was it was a very stupid conversation and they're like you're posting this conversation in this this vegan form to talk about veganism and like how how do you guys like this is supposed to be a safe space for you guys to talk about this particular topic and then those other people which are supposed to be safe people just went and shit on that person <laughs> and i'm like the the internet is wild i like i wanted to say something just to tell people like how are you guys gonna act like this um but i didn't because it's just not it's just it just gives more fuel to the fire like i don't understand but they really need someone to like you know, knock some sense in these people sometimes. Like, everyone should be respected, regardless of, like, you know, what, what you believe in and whatnot. Like, if you have a different lifestyle or... I don't know. It just seems like it's so easy to just go on with your life and not cause trouble but people make it like it's just this difficult thing they can't not do <laughs> they don't know how to respect people's opinions or to have a respectful conversation yeah it's like everyone thinks it it's an attack on them and it's not um, but I've been in those situations where I will talk about my lifestyle and they're like oh you're trying to make me feel bad about my lifestyle I'm like no <laughs> I was just telling you about my life and this is what I do with my time I'm not I was not ever saying that you have to do the same thing as me I was not even hinting at the fact that people have their own opinions some people online will post the most disgusting things i'm like why would you post this yeah yeah i can't understand it i love your name it's so unique i wish i had more interesting name than just opal opal is kind of a cool name do you have a nickname that you usually go by or do your friends call you opal if you keep that up you'll end up breaking the girl's poor arm off what oh i'm so sorry she releases Cadence from her grasp. Turning to her savior, Cadence thanks Quinley in a small voice. Thank you. <laughs> Don't mind Opal's enthusiasm. She's just an excitable type. Quinley raises a hand to wave, but doesn't offer it to Cadence like Opal had. The name's Quinley. Whatever you do, just don't call me Quinn. Nice to meet you, Quinley. I gotta tell people that. Don't call me Carol, please. <laughs> you said you like hot dogs, so you must hate hamburgers. That's the generic, the general internet mentality. Yeah, not even on the internet. Like, I could be having these conversations in person with people, and they'll think that. Um, even, like, when I became vegan, like, many years ago, it... I lost friendships because of that. Because like, um, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's just, they think that you are like this terrible person that wants to change everyone's mind. Um, and like, the, yeah, I wouldn't mind people having the same, um, opinion as me, but I'm not going to force it on you. Um, if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Where'd my mind go? Okay, I'll get back to reading. <laughs> Is being vegan contagious or something? Um, no. <laughs> I know it's a joke, but like, I I do meet people though, and like, if they hang out with me a lot, they do end up liking vegan food a lot more. There's that, but no. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think, um, like, one of my, um, my cousins, like, she had a farm, so when I came out as vegan, she's like, 
she had some words um, to say about it, and I think we just we stopped being friends after that. Um, and it's not like I I did anything to tell her she shouldn't be a farmer or anything or have animals. I'm like, I didn't say any of that. I'm just saying, oh, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, even another friend, um, like one of my best friends, she had a problem with it. Um, but yeah, like, I have friends that eat meat. Like, the, like even, um, some of my ex-boyfriends, they were, like, heavily into, like, meat and cheese. And, you know, it, 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 it is what it is, like. I don't know. This is it's a weird conversation. <laughs> because of you have tried different kind of vegan stuff. Oh I I like that. Did you like them? Not everything is good. I I'm sure like it takes some getting used to. Um to uh change your taste buds. Like, some people think, oh, this food just this isn't good. No, at, like, your taste buds do have to change, um, it, depending on what you are eating. Like, if you eat a lot of greasy food, you're going to be more more prone to liking greasy food. If you don't lo eat a lot of greasy food, like, I don't eat a lot of greasy food. I, I don't like the taste of greasy food because I'm, like, not used to it. You know what I'm saying? It's all, uh, and, and my favorite foods have changed, like, over the years. I will have like, I'll go on like a red pepper kick and I'm like, oh, I love red pepper. It's my favorite. <laughs> and then like, it'll eventually fade out and I'm like, oh, I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms. <laughs> but yeah, like your taste buds can change over time. Like even as a kid, like there's probably some food that you didn't like um, as a kid, but now you eat it as an adult, like coffee. Like I don't like coffee as a kid. It takes some getting used to, but yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay, we want the big stretch. We're gonna do the big stretch. We're gonna take a break. Alright. So can we, um... Can we take a break? <laughs> I'm gonna go do the big stretch. Like, the big stretch. Like, I'm gonna go walk around. <laughs> Maybe refill my cup. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give some shouties. Mag, if you want to give some shouties out, you're welcome to. No pressure, though. Um, I'm gonna take a break. So we're going to, what, two hour now? Yeah, we're almost at two hour. We'll do, okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. He's like, <laughs> wait, 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 he's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> he's like, huh? <laughs> I'm confused. Lace well, expressions are fucking priceless. <laughs> I hope everybody had a great time over at Goon's stream. He's a great long dark streamer. Uh, probably one of the best that I watch. He, uh, he actually introduced me to the long dark. Oh, 
Oh shit! God, that scared me. Like maybe my sixth month on Twitch. Nah, I'll do it at six months. And then maybe we'll come up with a different oh, idea. Oh, you know what we should do? Oh, you should have suggested that when I was doing my charity streams. I had to shave my head. You could have had me in a mankini. Oh, she, he's gonna clip that, that I said for six months I'm in a mankini. No, you should wait until... Anyways, let us move forward. Pro tip, some projectiles can be deflected with the swing of your sword. Interesting. So does that mean I should do that soon? This is... Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's called a cutter in this game, but yeah, it's a... Uh, mining tool shit. Well, um, hopefully you have a productive day, Raven. Appreciate you being able to stop by nonetheless. Where do you guys come from? Win? It's weird how Black Cherry somehow was like even worse. It's like, what? That's quickly censored apple. by the commander. Green apple. It's a compelling setup that frames these men as so battle hardened that they're left numb by their actions, eventually exposing their hypocrisy when they cry mm. foil at Frankenstein's despicable experience. I 
heard you guys are back. No more ads. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Mag, for uh, giving some shouties out. Thanks all for uh, hanging out. I like morning streams. Even though technically it's not morning. <laughs> it's like only morning for like an for like an hour when I'm streaming. Thanks, Bear. Um, okay, we'll get back into some some romance, maybe. We gotta finish this game. <laughs> I don't know. I've never, I've never played a visual novel before, to be honest. Only that one time, um, Dirty saw me play that. Um, it was a demo for a game, but it wasn't the whole game. Oh, no, no, right one. Okay, here we go. Are you not working today, Bear? You have today off. Oh, it's like afternoon over there. I think I should. I should probably do technically real morning streams. I, I start at 10 a.m. my time, which today was like 9:30. But regardless. Last but not least, Cadence turns her attention to Xavier. He has been quietly observing her since her arrival. Um. I'm Xavier. He's the one I told you about. The one that attends the same university as us. We got our achievement. We we still uh, met. We met all the friends. We should still be sleeping. Well, why not? Why aren't you sleeping? Go back to sleep. <laughs> Can you not sleep? Sometimes that happens. Um, I need. I would definitely need. Um, an eye mask um, to sleep in the afternoon like this. Oh, what are you studying? Bachelor of Music in Composition. I see. Silence falls over the two of them. So, Cadence, we heard you're Australian. Oh yes, I am. Well, that's cool. I've never been to Australia. I wonder what it's like down there. Well, warmer, I guess. Oh, I want to go to Australia. Cadence taps her finger to her chin as she considers the differences and similarities between our home countries. The beaches in Sydney are said to be some of the best. There's a famous one called uh, Bondi, right? Ah, uh, yes. Wait, there's also a show about Bondi. The one about the lifeguards? I see it on the internet all the time. What was it called again? Uh, Bondi Beach Patrol? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, is that a real thing? Just sick and sore throat? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Get better. Get better. <laughs> Are you taking some, um some meds or maybe some tea I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling good it's been going around I was sick for a few days but then it cleared up I've seen a few episodes of that I would love to visit Bonnie sometime someday and go for a swim in the sea hopefully you can't swim then a lifeguard can rescue me You'll be all over national TV. And then I'll also be famous. We all have a little laugh over Opal's carefree comments. She's always been a great at breaking the ice with strangers. Seeing Cadence be welcomed into my little friend group and how well she is getting along with them makes me glad that I invited her today. We ordered our own individual meals. I try the roasted spuds with sour, sour cream and chives. Um, Cadence ordered a potato salad, which despite being a healthier option, looks very creamy due to the sauce. 
That looks good. Cadence turns to me with a quarter of potato on her fork. It tastes good too. I think Val wants to try some. And Quinley has a sly little smile on her face. You haven't had the salad before. I opened my mouth to speak, but before I could say anything, Xavier decides to answer on my behalf. I took some stuff and slept two hours already, and so I used stream and it's been a while since I heard you. So yeah, your voice is comfy. Aw, I appreciate that. I try. <laughs> love a good potato. We love a potato. I open my mouth to speak before he answers on my behalf. Okay. She normally gets the same thing. She's great. She's a creature of habit. But she really looks like she wants to try some new salad. That's me too. Anytime I go to a restaurant, I order the same thing. You like they give you all these options, but then like they're all good options. But when it comes to a particular place, it's like I know that place as being oh that's those are the 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 coffee frappuccino place. They have smoothies as well, but they have the frappuccinos, so that's known as the frappuccino place. <laughs> That's kind of how I am. Um, you, you would have to bring me to like... Like if I were trying to order a smoothie. I need to go to a smoothie place for that. That's like their number one item there. Or you go to a smoothie place. I'm like, I get the same smoothie every single time. Like I can't... I can't have variety. Even though I love variety. But it's another thing about it. Like... You know what you're going to enjoy it. So it's a safe bet. Exactly. And I don't like, I don't like, um, wasting money. So I'm going to order the thing that I know I'm going to like, right? And hello, Dante. Thank you for the shy hello. Um, yeah, like, if I, if I were made of money, yeah, maybe, maybe I would. Yeah. Meow. How's it going, Gothic? Maybe I would order more things. Gotta be with someone who tries new stuff so you can try it. I'm new here. What game is this? This is a uh, Love's Crescendo. It is a lesbian visual novel. And it's a pretty new game. It just came out like last month in November. But welcome in, uh, Vampire. Editing podcasts. Um, how are you, lovely? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We're, we're, we're talking, we're chilling. Variety is the new spice of life. Yeah, I love variety. But I don't like... It, it's kind of hard, Mag, it's kind of hard for me to, um... Like, bring someone to go try food with me, because not everyone is vegan like myself. Um, I've been, I've been bringing Kevin with me to places, and thankfully Kevin does not mind vegan food. He's actually been enjoying a lot of it. So he's been um, trying new things with me. But typically, I don't have friends that I can share food with. So I don't try a lot of new things. You down to try stuff? Okay. Well, like I said, when, anytime when we meet eventually, I'll bring you to the vegan places. Vegan food is food. Yeah, it is. But are you going to order vegan food because you're hanging out with me, Bukaki, so we can share food? <laughs> I'm vegan food, you're not vegan food. No, you're not. <laughs> I do like the art of the characters. Yeah, the art is nice. I'm not vegan myself, but I have no problem eating it. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, that's, you try it? You try bear? Okay. Well, you know, I would love to invite you guys over. If I could. <laughs> I actually used to have like a yearly um, vegan potluck. This is my way of being an, an activist in vegan um, stuff. Like I don't like to like force it down anyone's throat or anything. But just this is my way to introduce people to new food that they might like. I like holding like a vegan potluck and say, Hey friends, do you want to come over for free vegan food? I'm cooking, and you're welcome to bring something if you want. 
I need food now. I only had a pop tart for breakfast and coffee. Okie dokie. You had vegan ice cream before. I couldn't tell the difference in taste. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, if it, if you if it's like a like a coconut milk or almond milk, those are good ones. Uh, sherbet and stuff that's like on the fruity side. I I really I don't know how if I would call it ice cream sometimes because it's not cream. That's what she said. What's the stop? <laughs> what I say? <laughs> What I say? But yeah, I would love to host more, um, like, events so I can just cook for people. Um, before I can respond, Opal decides to interject as well. Maybe you can share some of yours, Cadence? I love my friends, but when they all start scheming together like this, it makes me a little nervous. Cadence also seems to notice a plot brewing as she raises an eyebrow. But instead of questioning them like she would have if I were the one scheming, she pushes, pushes the bowl of salad towards me with a confused expression on her face. Would you like to try some? I don't mind sharing. I would love to. I, I would feel very pressured in this situation. What, what, what? You don't need to share your potato salad with me. <laughs> My local goth scene is actually very vegan friendly, so I've been exposed to a lot of vegan food before. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, I've seen it in the goth community and the LGBT community. There's a lot of, a lot of vegans, interesting enough. It's been cool. It's been cool. I went to a vegan goth uh, event maybe two weeks ago. It was cool. I never been to that. And people were like, what's a vegan goth market? <laughs> I'm like, it's just, it's just goths who have vegan products that they're selling. <laughs> yeah. It's not, don't, don't make it too complicated. <laughs> don't overthink it. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I welcome in. It's nice to meet new friends. Oh, she does not. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just thought it would be a funny joke. Cadence doesn't find the humor in it, but all my friends do. As they try to hide their giggles and in, in Snickers, I pick up my, up my fork and take a good helping of the salad for myself. It actually is good. Oh, it's made of potatoes. Of course it's good. How is it? It's great. Good. Her eyes lower to my plate. Can I try some of yours too? Of course. I happily push the plate to closer towards her, eager to see what she thinks. Calm down. It's just food. Just food, she says. <laughs> Are you an anime fan at all? Um, a little bit. I used to watch a lot more anime when I was younger. Um, but nowadays I just kind of play video games. Um, but my favorite anime is like Fullmetal Alchemist. That's probably the biggest one. Mmm, I like... Tsubasa Chronicles. What are other ones I really like? I used to have a whole bookcase full of like manga and anime, but I don't have it in front of me, so I like I can't like remember all the ones I like. But what about you? What's your favorite anime? She bites it, chews slowly, and then swallows. Don't I don't need gothics in point on this. <laughs> this seems right up your alley. <laughs> Do you like it though? Her chocolate brown eyes gaze on my way with a hint of glee. Yes, you have good taste. Dinner time soon passes, and the restaurant patrons begin to dwindle until it's that's left are the four tables. My own two couples near the window and a family of four on the other side of the restaurant. Our dishes have all been licked clean and cleared by the staff leaving us with only our half-empty glasses. 
My attention is drawn to Cadence. I want to make sure she's still enjoying herself. Her eyes are focused on Opal in front of her. Or, that was my initial thought. I soon realize she's not looking at Opal, but instead at the stage behind her. I lean a little closer before whispering softly. What's wrong, Cadence? She is surprised by my sudden question. Hmm, nothing? Why? You keep looking at the stage. I got my headphones on still. <laughs> oh, fair enough. My top faves are Death Notes and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I heard a lot of people like JoJo. I, I've only watched a little few episodes of it. Um, I really enjoyed Death Note, though. Death Note was a good anime. It was a good manga. I think I like the manga more than the anime. What's going on, Bernie? How you doing? Her eyes once again leave me. Unfortunately, no one has taken notice of Cadence. And I and I whispering, and my friends continue to chat about idle topics. I was just thinking about the time you first brought me here, and how you performed on the stage that night. Really, are you feeling some sight, some sense of nostalgia? As a hint of glee in my voice, we get mighty excited. Not quite nostalgia, but if you were definitely, you were definitely something else. You left such an impression on me that I agreed to play your song for you. My favorite streamer. Because I can make anything, she says, innocently, just sound dirty. <laughs> if you're into reading light novels about L, are good too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, th you know, I used to be so much into, like, Fulma Alchemist. Like, I collected so much Fulma Alchemist. Um, I read the the small novels as well. But I I kind of struggle with the novels, because I, I have a hard time picturing what's happening. Um, you know, I can't, like, draw a picture in my head very well. So I can't, like, have good imagination. <laughs> the best anime sword art online? What? Are you trolling? I did grow up on Dragon Ball Sailor Moon, though. I like Sailor Moon. I did some cosplay. Um, I used to cosplay a lot. I still do once in a while. Um, but I cosplayed, uh, Sailor Saturn. That was cool. I'm sleeping enough. Have a good one, Allie. Thank you, Bear. I hope you have good rest and get better soon. Oh, she's into me. I mean it. I like Sword Art. It's not awful. I like Sword Art Online. The first season. The second season. Mm. But, you know, did you guys hear that, uh, it's very similar um, to what's that anime? It's an older anime. Dot, dot hack. Dot hack. It's very similar to dot hack. Like, someone kind of like compared it, put the two animes side by side, and they're like, oh yeah, this does this, this does that, and it's like, it's like the same anime. It's just, it's just newer. And you know what? You could get away with it because. People like this newer generation probably didn't see Dot Hack. And Dot Hack is like, it's a different vibe, you know, it's it's just older. Dot Hack was dope. I liked Dot Hack when I was younger. But it was a little. <sighs> anime can be. Anime can be strange sometimes with what Japan allows. It's like this forbidden romance between, like, the siblings, and it's kind of weird. I mean, not kind of weird, it is weird. <laughs> but, like, Dot Hack did that. And that happened in Sword Art, too, I believe. You slay your own kind? Oh, Goblin Slayer? Oh, what's this? Are you two talking about? Oh, um... We were just talking about how I convinced Cadence to play my song for me. As I spoke, I broke my hands... I moved my hands around in big grand gestures to help with the... Th the radics? 
it happened right here in this very restaurant. I got up on stage, butterflies in my stomachs and ants in my pants. Why are there ants in your pants? <laughs> Cadence arches a brow and her smile lets me know that she is enjoying my retelling of our shared memory. Even if I am embellishing a little, with these very fingers, I wrinkle, wrink, 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 wriggle, wrinkle, all the ten fingers from my friends and stuff. Oh, wiggle? Is it? No, oh. it says wriggle. But this game is supposed to be like in Canada, so sometimes I say different words. R wriggle. <laughs> I perform a song in enchantment, cap captivating Cadence and convincing her that she must, must, must join me in my endeavor to compose the best piece of music that will bring my audience to tears. When I finish my fantastic tale, Opal begins applauding, um, energetically whips uh, Quinley and Xavier slow clap. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hold on. I'm the old man here that enjoyed more. So 80s and 90s anime with a few modern animes. Yeah, that's me too. I, I don't really watch a lot of the new stuff because I'm not too like... I've talked about this before on stream that like the new stuff, it's very similar to the old stuff. It's just new characters, but they kind of go with like the same kind of story, the same good boy. Um, it's just the same, the same character that's like your best friend, but also a villain. It's it's kind of overdone. Are you bonking? You bonking me for what? Both have pointy ears. Oh, you're a vampire. Oh, for the gremlin. Oh no, the goblin. <laughs> Cause you can. Oh yeah, you got a stream so I could bonk you more. I remember growing up in the nineties. There was maybe a good handful of anime, but now we're oversaturated with a bunch of anime. Yes, yes, it's too much for me to keep up with. Um, and then like the good animes. Um. Like, for example, like, uh, Attack on Titan took years to, like, finally finish, and by that time, like, I'm, I'm not interested anymore in knowing the ending because it just took so long. You kind of need to, like, do things a little faster. I'm unbonkable and unlovable? What you mean? I do love you. <laughs> And I will bonk you. Don't try me. I'll bonk you. I can bonk you right here. Don't make this. Don't 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 cause trouble on my stream. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, Mag said that he caught up with um sex education, so he can watch it with us now. I'm watching season three. It's a Netflix show, guys. Netflix show. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I forgot to mention Saint uh, Sia? Sia is another one of my favorites. I haven't seen that one. It's really hard to judge a story when it never finishes. But people will swear it's fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's true. It's like, it's good show until the ending. For some. <laughs> Attack on Titan was so cool when it first came out, um, but then I, I just I just lost interest because it, it just was so slow. I love uh, I will stand by Fullmetal Alchemist because it's a short anime. It's only about fifty episodes. It got to the point. It, it did a good job. So. Oops, I missed one. Quinley and Xavier find this funny. 
and have a quick laugh at my expense. That's how I remember it. Why don't you show us how you did it? The keyboard is still up on the stage. And the rest of the instruments, too. That's not such a bad idea. I don't mind playing on stage. And in fact, I enjoy it. But this might be my chance to really show off the cadence of my friends. Full my Alchemist actually ends. It do. It do. There's nothing really after it, either. They didn't even, like, make another story after. Um... But the, the, the artist um, and writer, she made a new a new anime that I haven't I haven't even seen. But it's probably good because she did a good job. OG was longer than fifty? Um no, it was about fifty. If if I'm off, it might be off by like a few numbers, but it's like it's around fifty. So Brotherhood was shorter than fifty? Considering how much Cadence and I have bonded recently, I think we should try to convince her to join me. Cadence, care to join me on the stage? Excuse me? Oh, I would love to see Cadence play something. Me too. Me three. Oh, I love my friends. <laughs> we all turn to Cadence with eagerness and hope. Uh, she glances between each of her faces, feeling the pressure from us all. Um, well... We can play one of the songs we played together last time in the music room. I'll be on guitar and you can show them exactly why I wanted you to be my pianist. She's like a- she's kind of a famous pianist, like... Mm, I remember not being able to finish the Brotherhood series because the show was still going on when I was watching. Um, no, The Brotherhood is the show that they made after. The one you're talking about is the original. It's the original, um, just, just Full Metal Alchemist. It's plain Full Metal Alchemist. Because they didn't finish the book in time to make the show. That's why they made Brotherhood, because they had to remake it. Because, because, not that, like, I have some love for the original Fulma Alchemist, because it's, it's kind of interesting how they made it, like, with the, like, different dimensions, um, different alternate realities was kind of cool, um, but that's not how, like, the original story was supposed to be. Moondropper Ducky, how you doing? Welcome in. It came out in 1986, I think. They incorporated mythology and Zodiac signs. Gemini was the most powerful. Taurus was the weakest. And Virgo was a literal god. Oh, that sounds interesting. Are you- are you a Virgo? What are you- <laughs> Is there a reason why you like it? Um, kind of reminds me of, uh... Did you say fruit baskets? I like fruit baskets. Fruit baskets was interesting to me. And it's not like fruit baskets isn't like a cutesy anime like there's some dark moments in fruits baskets wasn't that the 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 og name of knights of zodiac you couldn't get in the fruits basket did you, how many episodes did you try it couldn't be I mean, it might not be your thing but you saw them of that yeah fruits basket um was kind of like life changing for me. I really like Bruce Basket. I tried the movie you were watching. Oh no! Don't do that. <laughs> just just watch it from like the first episode. Don't go with the movie. The movie I was like, yeah, people shouldn't be watching this movie if they haven't seen Fruits Basket. That was that was not good. I've only seen the first five episodes of Fruits Basket. It was all right. Yeah, it, I think it's... I don't know what your genre is, but... Um, it's a good slice of life anime, but it has some dark moments in it. So, if that's your thing, you might like it. Uh, Cadence's eyes waver, but her... 
furrowed brows are a bit telltale sign that she still isn't convinced? Is it because of how I performed before? Is she scared that I might make us look like fools? Listen, Canis, I know that when I played that song for you the other day, that wasn't my best performance. But I promise you that I'm going to give it my all today, with you by my side. She turns to me with a look in her eye that says she knows she can't win against me. Ooh, we're about to play some rhythm game. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I, I changed my keys, my hotkeys for the game. So I might do better this time. Uh, so letting out a sigh of surrender, Cadence nods her head before pushing her chair back and standing. There's no helping it, is there? Woohoo! A round of applause for Cadence and Val to get them pumped. Starting us off, Opal begins clapping loudly. Xavier and Quinley both join in after, but what less enthusiasm. Alright, let's do this! We jump on stage before, uh, first before turning to Cadence and offering her my hand. She doesn't take it. Oh, she doesn't take the hand. Finding her own footing, she hoists herself up onto the uh, mar marinally, marginally raised platform. Uh, carefully inspecting the keyboard beside her, she runs her fingers along the plastic keys as a faint hint of smile forms at the corner of her lips. I pick up the guitar and listen closely to tune it. The rest of the restaurant patrons have noticed us on stage, but have not yet decided if we are worth more than a couple seconds of their time. I turn to Cadence with a giant smile on my face. Are you ready to show them what you've got? There's a twinkle in her eyes as Cadence turns to me with a smile on her face that I haven't seen before. Is that excitement? I was born ready. The moment her fingers hit those keys, the sound waves change my very core and sends, sends shivers down my spine. My body reactively moves on its own. Uh, Drumming a quick tune uh, that complements hers. Every note, every chord, every beat, it's electrifying. Has music always felt this way? My reasons for playing have always been selfish. My need to show off or to test how far I can push the boundaries. But when I play with her, with Cadence, it feels like my reasons are all washed away and I'm just here, living for the moment. Nothing else matters. Oh, I wanted to play. This is a rhythm game, why couldn't I play? <laughs> mm -hmm. I have too much to watch right now. I still have Gut Haven to finish. No, that's fair, Gothic. I love dark fantasy anime seem to be a thing. Or sci-fi, Tenshimudo was my thing. Always wanted to live in a harm. <laughs> alright, alright. That's fair. Yeah, I like Tenshimudo. I mostly prefer shonen action anime, but do like some shoujo every now and then. Yeah, I that, that's kind of me. I like, well, I, I'm the opposite. I like shoujo anime. And I like, I do the, the shonen anime action anime once in a while but if you can combine every genre together like full alchemist did i like it i like it a lot mm, ergo proxy is definitely a journey of a show watched that a couple months ago i never heard of that one gotta finish watching seven deadly sins i don't remember anything in Seven Deadly Sins, but I watched the whole thing. <laughs> I think Inuyasha mixes both action and Sojo. It might have. It might have. I it, I didn't get into it as a kid, though. It might have been too dark for me at the time. Um, I was scared of things as I was younger. Uh, <laughs> I got disturbed pretty easily at like 
the smallest things. I'm gonna get back into the show after whatever season two was. Hmm. It's not bonking me. Now you're not scared. That's true. I'm not scared anymore. I kind of like dark anime now. Well, I like dark anything. It's interesting how you change. An encore. Okay, let me play the game. I want to... I'm not talking to you guys, but like the game. Like, can I... I want to do... I want to do the rhythm game. <laughs> she screams at the top of her lungs, completely embarrassing Xavier. As he pretends not to know her, a couple other restaurant patrons and staff join in with the clapping. I want them to let me do the rhythm game. Because I bonk you, freed you of your fears. Oh, well, I appreciate that. As long as <laughs> it's a good bonk. That's visual novice for you? Yeah. I changed my keypad so I can do the the rhythm better. <laughs> they're gonna let me. They're they're gonna eventually they're gonna let me um do a good job. I'll eventually. Uh oh we're crushing. We're crushing. But I think I think it's pretty been obvious that we're, we've we've kind of had a crush on her for a while. That's the only place we ever go to is that restaurant, though. Oh, you got food? Nice, nice. I gotta make food. What time is it? I'm almost at three hours. Um, I'm I'm not hungry yet, but. I'm thinking about what what am I gonna make later? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to make. I made bean dip last night. Um, so I'm, I'm, I have a little bit of leftovers. Um, I also have some veggie nuggets in the freezer. I could make a wrap. Make food, not more. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. Veggie nugs sound good. Yeah, I could, um, I could make, like, a few and put it inside a wrap. That might go be good. But I, I kind of lack, what, what kind of sauce do you put in a wrap? Oh, I need, I need hummus. I couldn't find hummus at the store. I need to find more hummus. With a little sauce, yeah. I am a saucy person. I like sauce. <laughs> Until the, until they invade the fridge. What do you mean? Cause they're good. Veggie nugs are good. The rest of the night ends with a couple more songs, a few extra drinks, and one drunken farewell from Opal as Xavier sends her into the back seat of Quinley's car. My sides are left with stitches from. All the laughter I had throughout the night. Stitch stitches? Okay. <laughs> I can't believe Opal sang the entirety of Bohemia? Helmian City? Don't don't at me guys. Her dancing was also quite interesting. I don't know if I would classify what she did on stage as dancing. I told you that she was saucy. I've, I've always said that I was saucy. I mean... <laughs> it's now or never don't leave me looking black and blue. I've never... Is that a song? I haven't heard of it. I walk Cadence back to her place like I did the other night. We follow a familiar path, passing the same scenery we did several nights before, nights ago. The exact same restaurant lights illuminate our way before fading as we reach 
the middle of the town center. I had, qu had a lot of fun tonight. Really? I'm glad to hear that. The corners of her eyes crinkle as she smiles and tries to hide her giggle behind her hand. Are they gonna kiss? I think this is a moment we should have. Yes, your friends are interesting characters. I think I've gotten to know a little more about you tonight. That was part of my plan, but it looks like she's also starting to open up to her life here in Quebec. That sudden just, just of chilled air pat my back and blow my hair out of place. Nah! Cadence throws, holds her yellow strands in place as the wind seems to circle around her and messes her previously ne neatly styled hairdo. Instead of helping, which I probably should do, I clench my waist as I burst into a fit of laughter. Oh hey Laszlo, welcome in. How are you? Old Foo Fighters song? Oh, okay. <laughs> you look like a tumbleweed. Silence falls as the wind comes to a stop. Cadence hasn't hastily attempts to brush her hair back into place, but a few strands fight to resist her. Her pouting face turns a slight shade of pink from embarrassment. Here, let me help. I step closer with my hand outreached. There's no need. Her resistance is futile. Come on, just let me help. I'm doing good. Can't really complain. Just got into work. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, I've been streaming for like mm, around three hours almost. Um, I spilt coffee on me. But other than that, I'm having a good day. <laughs> it was cold coffee, so it was okay. No help? No help for the wicked? You gotta- we gotta help. It's a romantic thing to do, right? It's a romantic thing to do. Carefully brushing my fingers through her tangled, yet, uh, silky soft locks. Cadence. Retaliation. Uh, ceases when she remains perfectly still to allow me to fix her hair. I'm sorry about the spilled coffee. It's okay. It's okay. We don't cry over spilled milk, right? Let them suffer, it builds character development. Oh no, no, don't. No, we're developing in a different way, gothic. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Being quiet as usual, but unusually uh, compliant. Uh, Cadence keeps her chocolate brown eyes glued to the ground beneath us. I'm sure this must be a strange situation to be in for her. They are all done. Before looking up, she touches her hand to her head to make sure I did a decent job. Which, of course, I did. That was really unnecessary, but I guess I should thank you. My lips curl upward. I will brush your hair for you any day, Cadence. No kiss, no kiss yet? No kiss yet. Oh, spilt coffee is different. It makes our day. I got more. It's okay. <laughs> I was more upset about my shirt. I had to change my shirt. I got on my shirt. Oh, Gothic, are you being an orange cat? Don't knock my glass of milk. <sighs> um... Because since a lot of people are in here, I should probably tell you guys, um, I have a... I updated the Discord. I made a December schedule, which is kind of, it's kind of similar, but we got some events going on this, this month. We got Goose Goose Stuck on the 22nd, and Jackbox Party Games on the 31st for New Year's Eve. Um, and if you like, uh, Christmas movies, I'm gonna do Christmas movie night. 
on the 19th and the 25th. So if you're down for that, you know, RSVP if you want, but I'll be there. Maybe you'll be there. <laughs> um, I'm also thinking of doing a giveaway on the 27th. Um, it'll be like, I kind of want to take advantage of, um, in December, on the 27th, there's going to be a discount on subs and gift subs. Um, so I think I'm going to, like, do a giveaway, and if people sub, you'll get, like, an entry to win prizes. <laughs> And I think I'm going to make a rug for my first rug. Maybe Gengar? I think people like Gengar. Yeah, it might be a Gengar rug. Um, I've also been making a lot of 3D print stuff with Kevin. Um, like my, my earrings I'm wearing currently, they're little moogles. But I've been making other things. Um, I'm gonna give you an example. You wanna see? Let's go to just chatting so you can see me a little bit closer. Little Moogles. And I make... I wore these ones on stream before. Little, little knives. My Buster Sword. I got a compliment on this one yesterday from a stranger. Yeah, rug. Not like a huge rug, but, you know, something to test my skills. And also made Final Fantasy VIII from gun swords. Um, yeah, I think that's got what it, I think that's what I got going on so far. I might do some keychains. Like, if you, if you don't do earrings, there's, I can make them into keychains. Make them a little bit bigger. Maybe some stickers. I don't know. We'll see. I, I want to, like, you know... I'm not made of money, but I do... Like, it, I can't do a secret Santa, so this is what I can do as a streamer. I can give a giveaway and, like, make someone's day. <laughs> um, hopefully... With a discount, I could maybe subscribe to a few people. Um, with a discount. I kind of try to take advantage of the discount months and try to do like a, like a, like a monthly thing. I don't know if anyone else does that, but... Yeah, I'm poor, so I don't usually um, subscribe. But if it's discounted, I'm more inclined. Because I like the cool badge. I like the emotes. <laughs> Man. Doo, doo, doo. But yeah, I think I'm going to do the giveaway thing on, like, the 27th. Hold on, let me check my schedule again. Yeah, the 27th. That's the day discounts are activated. Well, actually, on the 13th. Um... 25% off all single and multi-month subs site-wide, but on the December 27th, yes, you still get that discount, but also um, single-month gifts are um, discounted as well. So if you're in the Discord, I have it in the, in the announcements. But I'm also going to do, if people don't want to subscribe, absolutely fine. I'm going to put it as a, uh, a channel redeem to get you a um, an entry into uh, the giveaway as well. So you don't need to spend any money if you don't want to. Alright, where words fail, music speaks. Another Instagram quote that I'm totally vibing with this week. Half a week has passed since the night Cadence met my friends. For the record, they love her. Opal thinks she's friendly, while Quinley called her cute. I've always thought of her as cute. Cadence and I have managed to find time to practice our song every day over the last three days. 
And it feels like I basically live on campus at this at this point. However, tomorrow will be our last chance to rehearse before we have to perform on Friday night. Oh, are we like getting towards the end of the game? Maybe. Maybe maybe then I can play. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to sub to everyone. I know, it's so expensive. What is it, like, five or six dollars just to sub to sub to people? That's a lot of money. Like, just, just for one person. The discount subs are the best time for me, too. Yeah. Um, and then, I do have one Prime sub. I don't even have Prime. Like, my parents have Prime, so I'm using their Prime. <laughs> um... But yeah, I can only use one Prime sub, and I have so many friends. And also, like, if you are Prime subbing to someone, it doesn't give them the same amount of money as it would as it would if you were actually subscribing to them. So that kind of sucks too. But they're always appreciated. I mean, a sub is a sub. And I will admit that I'm nervous, but I won't say it out loud. I'm not worried about the performance itself or what my grade will be. No, what I'm worried about is what happens to Cadence and me after Friday night. Without the excuse of rehearsing for my song, I will need a new reason to meet up with her? Oh no. You didn't know that about the Prime subs? Laszlo, what you mean? Oh, you didn't know that, like, People don't get the whole full amount of money that they're supposed to. Yeah, because like it's a free sub. <laughs> You're not paying anything, so the streamer doesn't get much money out of it. So I think it gives them like maybe two dollars? I'm not sure. You'll have to check it out. I didn't know they give the didn't get the full amount, yeah, unfortunately. But friends can hang out without the need for an excuse, right? Does Cadence think of me as a friend? I'm sure hope so. I still don't think she knows anyone else in Quebec, let alone on campus. She'll surely be busy with her own assignments and exams too. So she'll have less free time to see me, even if she wants to catch up. All this thinking is doing my head in. Valerie! My attention snaps back into reality. I had been staring off into space while Cadence was sitting across from me with the sheet music in hand. You weren't listening, were you? She gives me that glare of suspicion like I've done something wrong. Mm, full food has been devoured now to finish editing oh, okay I hope you have um, I hope it goes well <laughs> oh food was good uh, sorry I wasn't listening she lets out an unbothered sigh while lifting the pieces of paper in one hand I thought you said you have great hearing yeah, well, great hearing isn't isn't much good when the brain ain't listening. <laughs> I I have a problem hearing. Um, like I can actually hear, but my brain my brain does have problems listening. Um, I think it's more it's it's probably the ADHD, but it's also the anxiety. It's probably both of those things that like people can be talking to me and I really want to hear them, but Sometimes it just kind of flies over the head sometimes. Usually if it's like anxiety inducing um, related issue, it's just like I'm trying to focus on other things so I can't hear what the person's saying to me. Yeah, good luck, Gothic. Lazo, how's work going for you? You said you just got into work. Are you allowed to be on Twitch while you're working? I tapped the side of my head with my fingers while flashing a cheeky smile. My joke goes unlaughed at as Cadence rolls her eyes before standing up. 
I asked if you could send me a digital copy of the sheet music. I don't have a scanner, but I want to show my parents what we've been working on. Oh, adds in a minute? Okay, thanks. Yeah, you can be on Twitch? Oh, okay. That's cool. I used to be on Twitch um, at my old job. Um, you know, no one said you can't be, but I don't think you're supposed to be. <laughs> I can snooze it? Oh, it's fine. I mean, I'm not... Un unless you would like to talk. I mean, leave the mod. <laughs> I watch you on your phone, on my phone, and have an Air, AirPod, so my job doesn't care. When I'm actually working, then I take you off for the time being. I gotcha. I gotta edit first. Okay, yeah, no problem. Go, go do your thing, Gothic. Don't worry. Yeah, the problem with my job is like, I I was asking like, I was kind of asking a few streamers like, not like directly, but like on Twitter, I'm like, hey. If you have some closed captioning on your streams, that'd be great. Because <laughs> I watch Twitch a lot um, without any sound, um, especially um, when I was at work because work was extremely loud. So like I can definitely watch Twitch, but but work is too loud. I have to have earbuds in, um, like safety hearing, um, so I can't like hear anyone on Twitch. To, and I can't engage in any conversations because I don't know what y'all are talking about. Um, so yeah, closed captioning. Even if you like put the um, extension on, Twitch has an extension and you just have to agree to it. Like just, just, just put it on. <laughs> and that's helpful. Um, but for me, on my stream, I like to... Uh, put closed captioning on there myself because I want to control where it's going. We got an ad break, so... I will continue on. <laughs> oh, sure thing. And how are your parents? The papers rustle as Cadence straightens them against the top of the piano before handing them back to me. They're well. I wait for her to elaborate. She waits for me to change the topic. <laughs> I see we have a game of conversation chicken going on and I'm not going to lose. I tap the papers against the top of the piano again as if they weren't already perfectly aligned. Uh, they wanted to know if I've been eating well, so I told them about the La, La Pompe de Tear. She's still saying it like a cute way. <laughs> and I mentioned that we played on stage. Oh, really? You told them? What did they say? She shrugs. It was a small restaurant performance for fun. They didn't care much about it. Much for it. Oh, well, maybe I don't care much for them either. Oh, wow, that sounds petty. I'm glad I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, just send me a copy of the sheets. I will. Giving her a copy of the sheet music means she'll be able to play our song again at any time in the future, right? It's nice to think of 80-year-old Cadence playing our song when she's back in Australia with her wrinkly hands and her grain frizzy hair. Maybe I should get her something else to remember me by. I could get her a new hair tie to keep her hair out of her face or gloves to keep her hands warm when she's still here in Canada. What are you thinking about now, Valerie? You have a problematic look on your face. What does she mean by problematic? I'm just thinking about the future, but it's nothing for you to worry of your pretty little head over. Pretty little head? But her light, lightly flushed face and the way she begins to twirl her lock of hair, golden hair, 
suggests she might like the compliments, even if it's just a little. Oh, welcome back from ads, anybody. <laughs> oh, very pretty. Hey, tomorrow is our last practice session, right? Yes. All right, I've decided then. I hop off my seat with more enthusiasm than needed. Decided on what? Uh, raising my finger to my lips, I let out a soft hush before whispering. It's a secret, but make sure you come right on time tomorrow, okay? Don't be late. I am never late. Except when it comes to dinner. Right, but that was because I had a good reason. Now that she's mentioned it, I never did find out exactly why she was late that day. I just assume it was because she spent extra time uh, getting ready, but she never confirmed that. Perhaps I should get her to tell me why she was late. Pray tell. I lean a little closer to her, but she's already rushing to gather up her bag and belongings. Cadence is halfway out the door when she starts shouting back her answer. Next time! How's the story been going? I've been lurky and not paying close attention. It's been going well. We, uh... We're, we're getting to know uh, Cadence a little bit more. Um, the girls are kind of developing a closer friendship. A little, like, you know, we get a little touchy and we're allowed to, like, play with her hair a little bit. <laughs> um, she met uh, Valerie's friends. Um, so that's what's been going on so far. Um, it's better not a flat out no. I rush to the door frame and poke my head out into the hallway. Cadence is only a few feet away, but my voice echoes when I call out to her. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, they're almost done. They're almost, um... They have, like, one last rehearsal, I think, and then they can play the song. She sounds back without turning around. We might have disturbed anyone else that was in on our floor, but I don't really care. I'm making up my mission after classes today to get Cadence a present that she will forever... That she will keep forever to remind her of her time in Canada. And of course, her time with me. Yeah, Valerie wants to get Cadence a gift. My heels hit the floor to the beat of Eight Nation Army. Since I met Valerie, the songs on my phone have slowly started expanding, not only in the number, but also the genre. Ellen, Ellen Fitz is now shares a space on my playlist next to Yo-Yo Mo or Porter, Porter um, Peterson. I usually listen to music that helps me relax or calms me down, but as of late I found that music has allowed me to feel in, in, invigorated and I dare say more confident in myself. Poor Yo-Yo Ma got turned into a Mo. Oh, did I say it right? Did I say it wrong? Or did that what is it? Is that what it said? <laughs> As if perfectly orchestrated, the music stops when my feet reach the door to the music room. Oh, this game does parodies of musician. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> I take a deep breath. What am I nervous about? It's just another night of practice. No, that's not right. It's our last night of practice. My fingers curled tightly around the straps of my bag. Inside, I'm carrying something special. A present for Valerie. Oh. It was cold as death last weekend. In truth, I thought it had been cold my whole time in Quebec. Before leaving Australia, I did pack a few essential winter garments. 
but I haven't brought many new clothes while I've been here. Since at the end of the year, I'm returning to Australia. There's no need for me to accumulate too many material things while I'm here, especially since I will just need to get rid of them in the end. I also don't want to grow attached to anything in Quebec for obvious reasons. Just friends, friends touching butts. We haven't touched any butts yet. Just hair. <laughs> we're, 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 we are touching each other's hair. <laughs> we're making our way. The butt of her hair? No. No. <laughs> the first time I walked down the footpath, I was incredibly nervous. I was surrounded by unfamiliar sights and smells. Different shops, people, and food. Even the air smelled different here. I paid attention to anything I could use as a landmark to help me find my way around. A broken street lamp, a particularly unique shop sign, the or Dora in the middle of the town. They were all breadcrumbs in a trail to help me find my way back home. But now I knew exactly where Valerie's favorite restaurant was, and I could spend my time actually taking in the sights. Gotta get back to work. Thanks for the lovely stream. Okay, Lazo, thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. I passed the window. Displays of bland looking shop. Uh, situated a little after the broken street lamp. I hadn't noticed the shop before, but on the t on the day I spotted something in the window, a hat. A knitted beanie hat, to be more precise, with extended ear warmers that are hung on the way down the mannequin's hands. Oh, the end seemed to fold in on themselves and fold little pockets. There's a vibrant shade of orange, like a merry gold flower, and similar to the vest that Valerie always wore. That would look good on Valerie. I rarely vocalize my thoughts, so hearing it come out of my own mouth surprised even me. What am I thinking? What was I even saying? I questioned myself, but had no answers. I stared at the beanie for a little bit longer, perhaps too long. The ring of the bell caught my attention as the older gentleman poked his head out of the shop door. Do you see something that you like? Yo, let me browse. <laughs> the eyes darted between the old man and the brightly colored beanie in the, in the window. They really would look good on her. Um, I was wondering. After purchasing the beanie, I made my way to the restaurant to see Valerie and her friends. I had stuffed it in my bag and completely forgot about it during the night. I'm glad I didn't give it to her back then because I wouldn't have had the opportunity to gift wrapped it. I wrapped it with moss green paper with thin gold stripes topped with the silver ribbon. Oh, everything's just better when you gift wrap things. I really hope that she likes it. I'll tell her it's a gift of gra gratuity? Gra no, gratitude. Gratitude. Uh, my way to say thanks for helping me get acquainted with the area. It's not strange to give someone a gift for that reason, right? I've only given presents to others for birthdays and Christmas in the past, but I've received, um, is it bouquets after a recital? Perhaps I should have gotten her a bouquet after our performance instead. Would she prefer that? No, I need to stop doubting myself. I've already bought this beanie, and I will hand it to her. <laughs> As I push open the door, I'm greeted by the wavering aroma of delicious herbs 
and cheese. The room has a warm and cozy atmosphere. A small picnic rug is set up next to the window. There are candles, the fake battery operated kind, neatly lined up across the windowsill. Her backpack and guitar case are resting against the wall, and two square cushions for sitting on are placed on either side of an open picnic basket. Behind the basket is Valerie, kneeling with a wide grin on her face. Ta-da! Her hands sway in a grand gesture at her presentation. What is all this? She picks up one of her one of the cushions and plum fluffs it before setting it back down and indicating for me to come join her. I set my bag down to my side, keeping it nice and close, and I cross my legs. It is a comfortable cushion. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. <laughs> I thought we practice. We could have dinner together. Ooh woo. Yes. The thought is nice, but it's not potatoes again, is it? She pushes her lips. Um, while narrowing her eyes. I do eat things other than spuds, you know. I swear that they call them spuds. And that's I'm new I'm new to that. <laughs> Reaching into the basket, she pulls out a plate with a pepperoni pizza on top. So this is what I spelled when I answered the room. You should have known what pizza smelled like. She also eats the taters. <laughs> We're having pizza tonight. I must admit it does look delicious. I want I want some pizza. Well, something's different this time. I don't intend to sound sarcastic, but it just naturally comes out that way. Did you by any chance make it yourself? Would you be impressed if I did? The fact that you're answering my question with another question would imply that you didn't make it. Her lower lip drops slightly, and the expression on her face says it all. I find myself a stiff, stiffling a grin. Alright, you caught me. I ordered it, and I put it on a plate to, to give it a fancy feel. So, does it feel fancy? The giggle I was suppressing escapes my lips. No, not at all. <laughs> Dang it. But... It's authentic Italian pizza, cooked using a wood-fired oven. Now, doesn't that sound fancy? Hmm, perhaps a little. But I don't mind eating average store-bought pizza. This is new. Trying new things and going out of my comfort zone. These are these are things that I've been doing uh, con consistently. No, constantly. No. Yeah, constantly with Valerie. In all honesty, it's not so bad. She tears off a slice of pizza and hands it to me with a napkin. No cutterly, uh, no plates, no chairs or table. I wonder what my parents would say if they saw me now. Oh, thank you. There was no chicken nuggets. At least there's no chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be a, a sight to see. At least you're not, you know, the pizza is pizza supposed to be kind of handheld. I carefully hand handle the slice. It's still hot. When I quickly bite into the side with the cheese melting off. A burst of flavor explodes in my mouth. How long has has it been since I had pizza? Have I had any since coming to Canada? I feel that way when I eat pizza. Pizza's so good and I like I don't have it enough. Great date food. Just give her a handful of chicken nuggets. No container. <laughs> yeah. Just here you go. There's the nuggies. A good pizza is amazing. Yes. Absolutely. 
when I quickly bite into the side. Oh, this is when I've read that one. Okay, how have I not ha have I had any sense coming to Canada? How is it? Chew and swallow. It's rude to speak with my mouth full. Quite nice, right? It's from the best pizza place in town. Is that so? When it comes to Valerie, everything she shares with me is the best in town. <laughs> As we eat, the sky gets darker and the candle lights get brighter. Val Valerie leans a little closer while talking. Our knees touch ever so slightly, yet the feeling uh, resonates throughout the body, the entire body. A strange but warm tingle. And that is how I became friends with Opal and Xavier. I see. For them to have remained friends even after graduating from high school, it is a testament of Valerie's magnetic personality. Or should I say, to her lack of respect for people's personal boundaries. Although, I found her to be a little pushy at first, or perhaps more than just a little. I am glad that she has convinced me to be her pianist. Will we remain friends even after I return to Australia? There are a couple of slices left, but the two of us stuffed our stuff so we don't dare touch them. As I turn to grab my bag, I accidentally knock Valerie's guitar over. It slides down and hits the floor with a pang. I'm sorry. It's all right. She stops mid-sentence. Actually, can you pass it over? I do, as she says, without um, complaint. Delicately handling the case with her Fender CD 60S over. Is it 6S? 60S? Valerie is quiet as she takes it from me and opens the case to inspect it. Her silence does not bond well for me. Uh-oh. Hmm. I wait with nervous anticipation. From where I'm sitting, it doesn't look like it'd be damaged, but I would hate for something to have happened to it. Fortunately, the smile that creeps over Valerie's face suggests that nothing is broken. I can't tell if it's alright or not. Her smiles turns coy. What do you mean? We'll need to have a jam session to make sure it's not broken. Valerie jumps from her spot while holding the neck of her guitar. She must think that she she's being very sly, but I see right through her. If she wanted to jam with me, she should have been straightforward about it like usual. I'm sure it's fine. However, I'm not entirely opposed to jamming out tonight. Really. I dust my skirt off as I stand, shrugging my shoulders as Valerie looks at me with a face of excitement. Why not? I want to play. I want to play. <laughs> I want to play the, the rhythm game. I make my way to the piano, sliding my fingers along perfectly tuned keys. Valerie nestles her guitar against herself, tuning the strings with her ears turning forward. I do admire her ability to recognize perfect pitch. What are we playing tonight if we're not practicing your score straight away? She strums a A minor on her guitar and tightly shuts her eyes. A look of in indulgence shows on her face as she waits out the sound of the chord. Whatever you like. I take a moment to consider what I want to play, but I quickly learned that I had misunderstood Valerie's answer as she starts playing a tune that I'm unfamiliar with and singing along. Yeah, you can play whatever you like. I freeze. What is the song? Valerie notices my confusion, stare, and stop. Uh, T.O. or the Anna 
Marin's cover? No? I wouldn't know. I shake my head to express my lack of understanding. Oh, well this is the fun part of jamming, isn't it? Even if you don't know what song I'm playing, you can just listen and join in. She continues playing at a slow tempo. Sure enough, I can easily recognize the chords. F, C, G, back to A minor, but... You want me to just join in. Yeah. She continues playing F, C, G, A minor. Show, show me how amazing you are. What nonsense is she spouting now? F, C, G... I'm not amazing or anything like that. A minor. But you are. Oh, I give up. I let out a defeated but grateful sigh that I joined Valerie's melody on the piano. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing the things. Hopefully, um, oh. Oh, it's still hard. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ah! I changed the keys, too. I just hate when you do the holds. You have to end the holds for them to count. I'm not used to that. I'm doing better, though. Look at this. You finally get to play at three and a half hours. <laughs> I was playing along, but my my text message was filling up. Oh yeah. Don't forget to save. Oh, you're right. I should probably save. It's been a while. Okay. We're almost to the end of the game, I think. I'm I'm guessing. Romance is getting hot. Um, we're almost going to play our song in front of people, so. I miss the way this feels. The key is underneath my fingertips. The resonating sounds in my ears. 
and the silly happy faces of the people watching me. But right now, Valerie is the only one watching me and the only silly happy face I can see. I fumble a bit, my fingers haphazardly pressing keys that sounded out of tune, but with the melody we have created for ourselves. And yet, my heart does not ache. I'm not worrying about those tiny little mistakes I made. Instead, my heart is full. I look over at Valerie. She's the only one watching me. The only silly happy face that I can see. My 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 heart soars at the sight. Silence falls over the room, but it doesn't stay unshattered for long. Woo! That was awesome. I smile and nod in agreement. However, I don't share her level as enthusiasm. Valerie always seems to have an endless amount of energy, which I both admire and tolerate. What do you want to play now? Hmm. Oh, well, I'll contemplate in. I take the opportunity to stretch my arms and wrists. Holding my right arm forward, I pull my fingers back with my left hand before switching sides. How about... Oh. Before I can suggest anything, Valerie interrupts me. Cadence, how are your hands? My hands? What an odd question to ask so suddenly. They're fine. Why? Oh, well... I'm intrigued. Valerie moves her guitar before turning back to her bag on the floor. Crouching down, she rumbles through her belongings before pulling something out. Even as I sway left and right to get a peek, Valerie does a good job of hiding it behind her back. What could she be up to? Give me your hands. I'd rather not. <laughs> she ins instantly saddens, showing me a fake sad puppy expression. I won't do anything bad, I promise. I'm still reluctant, but uh, I'm not one for surprises, but I also know that Valerie's level of persistence will outlast my level of resistance. I sigh while raising both my hands in front of me. Now close your eyes. Excuse me? Uh, trust me. I do, kind of. Sign one last, one more time. I slowly close my eyes. I hear Valerie's clothes rustling against each other as she moves. I feel her whole, take a hold of my left hand. She's warm. She rubs her thumb against my palm gently. Like how one would pet a small stray kitten to make it, make it comfortable. Oh no! She slips something over my fingertips. Something soft and wooly? Hey, Mr. J, how you doing? Also, a distraction technique for pickpocketing. Yeah, if you wanna. <laughs> Hi, how's your Sunday, Mr. J? Are you working today? My fingers wrinkle before she does the same to my right hand. Her fingers feel rougher and more callous on this side. Is it from all the years of playing guitar? Okay, you can open your eyes now. Oh, you're sadly working today. Aww. You probably got a lot going. Um, this is an early stream. A lot more work left. But yay, you made it. Vera's face is pretty cute. Mm -hmm. The dim lighting from the candle shines too brightly. When I first open my eyes, once they're adjusted, I see what she has put on my hands. Gloves. I think you would have noticed. 
navy blue woolen gloves, the kind of seen in the shops around town. They're a perfect fit and feel especially cozy this late at night. What's this for? Did you like them? Uh, yes, very much so, but I'm curious as to why the sudden gift. Upon hearing my answer, Valerie's face lights up with a brilliant smile, one of many that she has shown me lately. She sways back and forth on her heels of her feet as she speaks. I knew you'd appreciate them. You don't seem to be used to the weather here yet, and I'm worried about your fingers getting cold. The warmth of the gloves extend to my chest. That's very considerate of you, Valerie. Actually, I also have something for you. Her eyes widen with surprised excitement. What really? What is it? Hold on a moment. I walk to my bag and open it to reveal the neatly wrapped present. Uh, sitting on the top of everything else. I, t I hand it to her with both hands. Wow, it's it's even gift wrapped. Yeah, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Eight hours as this is the start of the shift. I tried waking earlier. My body didn't want me to. Oh, it's fine. Uh, it's nice to have you here now. But I hope your hope your work day goes well. She accepts it carefully, holding the parcel up in the air, inspecting it. Uh, she gives it a gentle squeeze. It's soft. She raises it slightly before letting it drop a few times. It's light. If you don't want to open it now, you can wait until you're home. No, I'll open it now. I just wanted to give it a try and make a guess of what's inside. She tears the paper off with no delicacy. Um, revealing the orange beanie. Her eyes light up almost as brightly as the fake sun... Fake, the fake uh, candle lights. Oh, wow. You got this for me? My cheeks heat up for a little from embarrassment. I've never received a reaction like that before. Her smile stretches from ear to ear. Uh, yes, I wanted to give you something as a sign of gratitude. To say thanks for helping me uh, acclimate to Canada. And I guess also for being my friend. Uh, this is I don't even know what to say. I would be kind of I would be kind of worried if someone were like, "Yeah, we're friends, right? <laughs> just friends." Betting it will just found out we have a coffee machine. Uh, making a pit a pit now and going to be great. Nice, nice. I got a little coffee. I kind of like I like the morning streams because I get to drink a little coffee. Feel free to try it on. Okay. I wish I wish you could see it. I wish they had made um like an extra like artwork to show that. Oh, here's the hat. I would like to see the hat, but oh, a pot. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> She strikes a supermodel pose and purses her lips forward. I guess that's the type of face she thinks a model would make. How does it look? Stylish? It suits you very well. Her giggle is contagious. I've actually seen this before. Did you get it from the shop in the center of town? Yes, I did. Wasn't it expensive? No, not really. At least not by my standards. We should take a photo. A photo? Yes, to capture this moment in time and mem memorize 
it forever as a digital wallpaper on my phone. Damn, we're saying it's a wallpaper on our phone. <laughs> I'm still lurking, trying to be creative while listening to the story. Okay, I'm sorry for my bad... <laughs> my bad reading. But I hope you enjoy it. Forever is a bit much. She isn't listening. Valerie is already skipping back to her bag to get her phone. This time, she clumsily knocks her bag over. And something I did not expect to see falls out. Uh, knitting gloves? Knitting ne needles. Wait, knitting needles. Ah! She grabs them with haste and tries to hide them behind her back. What are those? Nothing. What a terrible liar. I stand my ground with my arms crossed in front of my chest, looking down with the same authority as a teacher questioning a rebellious student while my attempt at the level of authority. It seems to work as Valerie hangs her head and sheepily reveals the knitting needles from behind her back. I didn't know you could knit. I, I don't. Well, not really. I did try to, though. I don't understand why she would be embarrassed and lie about this. Knitting looks like a fun and relaxing hobby to have. I wanted to make a pair of gloves for you. They were going to be, they were going to be amazing. I looked down at the gloves on my hands. Did she make these? She probably bought them. <laughs> but in the end... She pulls something strange out. It's a small and raggedy, um, only about half the size of my hands, an unevenly knitted blue square with a short tail of yarn extending out from one corner. I couldn't quite get it right. I curiously reach my hand out towards it. Did you make this for me? She hands the square over. It's soft, but our fingers brush. It was my first attempt. Although I guess you could say this one here is actually my seventh attempt. It's so poorly made, but there are some parts where uh, the knitting is too tight and other parts where it's too loose. I thought I'd be able to pick it up quickly since that's usually the case with any instrument. Um, and aren't knitting needles just so, kind of like drumsticks? The color is a lovely blue, lighter than the navy blue gloves I'm wearing right now, but a slightly different hue of the color of my dress. I'll get rid of it, so hand it on back. No. I tightly clench onto the, the wooden, the woolen square. I can't turn my eyes away from it. Somehow I'm memorized, mesmerized by it. I like to keep it, if that's all right with you. You would? Yes, even though you weren't able to finish it. This is perhaps the first time anyone has ever done something like this for me. Since the very beginning, I thought of Canada as an uncomfortable, uncomfortably cold place. But standing in front of Valerie right now feels warm and welcoming. Thank you. I'm met with no response from Valerie unusually. When I raise my eyes from her gift to her face, I see her smiling. But this is different from her usual smile. It's not a playful, silly, or filled with overbearing, bearing confidence. Not this time. This time she's smiling with her soul, as if to thank me for something, when I'm the one feeling grateful to her right now. She begins to speak. Uh, cadence to you. Valerie pauses, her cheeks flushing a red, a dark red hue. It's cute. Really cute. As if noticing the amusement decorating my features 
She turns away and looks at the window. The moonlight is streaming in front of the window. She bashfully looks back at me, rubbing her neck nervously. Can so you, uh, want to look at the night sky with me? I would love to, Valerie. This is very gay. <laughs> <laughs> Outside, the snow falls like dancing fairies. Um, reflecting the moonlight off of their frozen wings before they fry pirates down to the ground. The sky is their dance floor. In the large ghetto? Lar 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 ghetto tempo? Of my heartbeat is their music. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these words. I I ship it. We ship it. It's confirmed. I like that they they made the artwork for this moment. That's nice. I was waiting for that. I didn't know if there was such beautiful things in this world. Cadence. My attention snaps back to Valerie. It's hard to see her face, but I can tell. She's tugging on her beanie wrapped around her neck. Yes, Valerie. I... She scooches closer to me, giving me the perfect opportunity to rest my head on her shoulders. Oh, who, who, who's more cat today? Kevin's very cat today. Who cares gaming? You're more orange cat today. Maybe once you get your to get your coffee. <laughs> the low kitty levels currently. Yeah. I like how Kevin doesn't even try to do black cat. Mag is more orange cat today. Ghost cutie is 78% orange cat today. He's getting the cup now? Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Naples, 76% black cat today. You're very cat today. <laughs> I'm excited about our performance. My lips curl into a small smile. Me too. I'm looking forward to playing your song. Our song, Cadence. It's our song. She corrects me twice. The thought of it claiming it to be our song warms me. Valerie really does appreciate me. Yeah, sorry, our song. I'm looking forward to playing our song. Ooh woo. <laughs> I read a great quote on the internet this morning. Love is friendship set to music. Um, hmm. Love is friendship set to music? I suppose. I suppose you can see it that way. <laughs> Let that sink in. Let that sink in, chat. Let it sink. My usual attire follows one basic principle. Comfort. A simple t-shirt, pair of comfy jeans are enough for me. We didn't even get to- I didn't even get to, um, let's- let me test out my, my sound command. Gay Trust me. Gay is in. Gay <laughs> is hot. I want some gay. Gay it's gonna be. Yes. A hundred percent comfort all day. Mm-hmm. I love comfort. All the gay. We love it. We love the gay. And gay is in. If I could live out my life wearing a onesie all the time, I would. But from time to time, social etiquette requires me to suit up and show off the beautiful butterfly that I am. A fitted orange dress shirt with unnecessary ruffles at the front, covered by a plain black blazer with shoulder pads even MJ couldn't pull off. A colorful 
treble clef, clef pin sits proudly on my left lap lapel. High waisted tailored black slacks uh, and heels high enough for give me an extra air of sophistication without the fall risk. I'm all about high waisted. Give me the mom, the mom jeans. I love I love like that fashion. I don't know what we did wrong <laughs> later on. <laughs> Show off the booty jeans. Yeah, I guess you can like it kind of like shows off your butt a little bit. I find myself periodically stretching my arms and rolling my shoulders back. Although I find these clothes uncomfortable, I have to admit, I look really dang good. Valerie, I'm back. Cadence returns from the bathroom having applied her makeup. Not that she needs to wear any. She wears a gorgeous black flowing A-line dress that reaches down to her ankles. The point of her glittery silver heels poke out from under the dress. As she passes me, I feel the velvetly smooth fabric brush against my forearms. Looking good. I raise two thumbs up and smile to show my approval. Thank you. You don't look too bad yourself. I straight straighten my lapels um, with a smirk. I don't know if I'm saying that word right because I never heard <laughs> that one before. Thanks, but when you, but when have I ever looked bad? We walked over to our designated seats, passing a few of my classmates along the way. They're a mix of nervous and excited faces, plus one student who looks like they haven't slept a wink. And of course, there's always that one person with a smug look on their face that shouts, my confidence is through the roof, and that person is me. <laughs> She's not quite as arrogant as me, but... Cadence also feels, seems, unfazed and not worried at all. She sits down with a perfect posture and strengthens, stretches out her arms. Um, com com complanting? Um, a couple of warm up exercises before turning me with a smile. You have an interesting look on your face, Valerie. Are you feeling confident? Indeed I am. That's probably me, the one with no sleep. Oh no. Did you not sleep tonight? Or is that just kind of a thing that you do? Yeah, we got this in the bag. She cocks her head to the side curiously. You must have nerves of steel. Most people are nervous before a performance. Even if it's just a little. Not really. I may just be distracted by you. Her eyes widened. What do you mean? Did I do something strange? No, I just like watching you, that's all. Cadence narrows her eyes before twirling a lock of her hair before her fingers, between her fingers. Please don't be distracted by me when we are on stage. Otherwise, the past few months we've spent together preparing for today will have been for naught. Don't be like that, Cadence. Even if I get a poor mark on this last assessment, it won't be for naught. I mean, I got to meet you after all. Her expression softens for a moment. I even notice the little smile that she tries to hide. But she soon, soon replaces the smile with a stern look even my mother has never given me. Please take today more seriously. It depends, usually I get some sleep, but lately I've been getting a good amount of sleep. Oh, okay. That's good. 
Uh, hopefully that's good. I mean, you, you kind of need the sleep because you've been sick. You need rest. <laughs> I am. I really am. I raise both hands up in the feet. I'm the older one between us, so why is she obviously the more mature one? Well, if it's not, it's not a bad thing. We continue waiting for our turn. From our designated seats, we have a side-on view of each performance by my peers. Despite the obvious butterflies in, my, in their stomachs, so far everyone has had performed. Everyone ha so far everyone that has performed has been amazing. Oh man, that's break time again. We might be getting an ad soon. I don't have a. I don't tell me yet, but it might be soon. I will give credit where it's due. With a level of skill everyone before me has shown, I'm feeling a little bit more competitive than usual. They're pretty good. Cadence whispers in my ear, her gaze never leaving the violinist on stage. Perhaps I should take a violin after this. Yeah, but we're going to be better. I playfully nudge her with my elbow, giving, giving me a small eye roll from her. The music ends with a dramatic outro. Ot the sound of the strings linger for a little longer before the girl on stage takes a bow. She exhales a anxious breath that must have been holding on to. Um, so I'm going to say to take a break. Thank you for reminding me to take a break. Uh, Neo Beat Games, thanks for coming in. And Mag is doing big stretch. Oh, hold on. And break time is... Um, Mag, you haven't seen anything yet for um, ads coming on, have you? I haven't had a... A Who Cares Game Wants a Question Card? Okay. It's probably in a few minutes. It is. It, it should be, like, in the next three or five minutes. Yeah. So I'll take a break when ads come on. Oh, that was a big stretch. <laughs> I might grab a snack on my little break. I also want to say thank you for your service. I read your bio and it literally was like, okay, I did ghosts. Aw, were you also in the service or do you have family? I appreciate that though. I was in the, the Navy for like seven years. Much love. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so question card for who cares gaming and anyone else is welcome to Oh, thank you so much for the follow anyone else is welcome to uh, To chat if you want to answer a question um, Who cares gaming the question card is what calms you down and anyone can answer this what calms you down? I Need to know I, I have a lot of anxiety. So tell me what calms you down. <laughs> Never been in the service? Oh, okay. Well, you don't want to be. <laughs> I I talked to a guy at Home Depot once, and, and this guy was, uh, he was telling me, um, yeah, I'm thinking about joining the Navy, and I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> I think other people would probably be like, um, yeah, that, that sounds like a great idea. And I'm like, sir. <laughs> Lo-fi music calms me down. Sometimes gaming, like Genshin or JRPG. I feel that. I usually play like some JRPGs. Um, we've been playing um, Final Fantasy VII Remake lately, and it. I don't know. JRPGs, Final Fantasy is kind of cozy to me. I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. I say nostalgic music and drawing or playing guitar. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I would vibe with nostalgia music. If I love Final Fantasy games, yeah, 
I have a Everything Will Be Okay um, playlist that I made on Spotify. And it ha kind of has, like, some of my favorites and, like, maybe a few things that maybe other people would like. Kind of like, um, Final Fantasy X music, Chrono Cross music, so stuff that are kind of, like, gentler. Like, no battle music. <laughs> but stuff in that kind of genre. Stuff that's nostalgic to me that, like, calms me down. Um, other things that calm me down, though, I don't know. I mean, there's the herb sometimes, but I don't typically, I don't typically use the herb that much. Finally got all the games, so I look forward to playing them. Have you played Final Fantasy VIII? It has some really good music. I haven't played Final Fantasy VIII, but I own Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I tried to play it, and then I got really confused. And then I decided, well, I'm going to find out how to play this game by watching another streamer to play the game. And then I just continued to watch this guy play Final Fantasy VIII, and I'm like, damn, he's doing such a good job. It would be a disservice for me to play this. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I just kind of want to watch him play it because he's doing such a good job. And if I played it, I wouldn't get like the full story out of it. But I'm interested in playing it. Um, for myself, maybe on stream one day. Just jump back in if you want. Yeah, maybe maybe later. Maybe I'll try it. Um, I think I want to get it for Steam, though. Because um, the Final Fantasy games, you can mod them on, if you've got them on the computer. I bought it on um, the Switch, so I can't mod them on Switch. Also, is it break time yet? I don't want to, like, I don't want to get too deep in conversations if we're going to get cut off. Um, I don't feel bad. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> we got cut off. Okay, we're going to go on break time. I'll be right back.
Hello? Hold on. I'm coming back. <laughs> Mr. J, what are you doing? <laughs> Who cares, gaming? Thank you so much for the gifted sub. You gotta hold, hold down, hold, hold, hold down on for the subbies. Um, oh no, I do appreciate you. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being patient. Um. The story can be confusing. The yeah, I played a few, three times. I still don't think I quite understand the story. What's your top two faves? I'm, I'm very interested. I am very interested in Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I really like Squall. Um, probably not for like anything, any good reason. He's just like he's kind of like this loner bad boy type. Probably the type that would um, ghost me. But <laughs> um, I think he's cool. I think the story is pretty interesting. I'm not a big fan of Renoa. Um, she can kind of be left out in the story. I'm not too too thrilled about her, I guess. Squall is cool. My favorite is Zell. Zell is cool. Um, the other guy too, what's his name? Erwin or something? Or maybe he just looks like Erwin. <laughs> oh, Irvine. Irvine. <laughs> But what's going on? What's going on? I'm having a good day? Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Oh, Mr. J, were you here earlier when I said I'm gonna do a giveaway at the end of the month? I'm thinking of the 27th. Because I want to do, um... I want to make a rug and do it as a giveaway. I know, I know. I've talked about it many times. I'm gonna make rugs... I'm gonna give them away. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I was thinking of uh, maybe a Gengar rug. I think people like Pokemon. I think most people like Pokemon. And I think most people that follow me like Ghost, I hope. Um, if you don't, I don't know <laughs> what you're here for. <laughs> I think Ur Irvine has the, has the biggest character development in the game. Oh, okay. Well, don't. Um, I'm gonna. I'll play it again, and I'll I'll definitely um, I definitely want to play it for myself again, because I kind of you know I, I know some points in the story, but yeah, like you said, it is kind of confusing, so I probably should play it again. But yeah, on the twenty seventh, I'm thinking of doing the giveaway, and to enter the giveaway, I'm thinking I'll make some. I'll make it a channel redeem, so like, I don't know how many points I'll do it, maybe five, either 5,000 or 10,000, I don't know what, like, how, how do people, how often do people get points, but it's something I have to look at. Um, so you could like, get an entry for a channel point redeem, or an entry for a sub, or a gifted sub, or for like, I don't know, how much is, how much bad bits cost um i'll do it an entry for that way um because there is a discount on twitch at the very end of the month you're almost at 60k wow you got a good chance at winning yourself a rug <laughs> if you wanted to if you wanted to enter um i'm also gonna do um like I said, like I, um, I'm making little um, 3D printed stuff. Um, this is what I'm going to show you. Uh, um, neon Beats games. Oh, shit. <laughs> I made... Here, let me go full screen on you. You can see my face. I'm making earrings. So these are some Moogles I made. And I made some Final Fantasy VIII ones. They're gun blades. So I'm excited about that. And Buster Swords. Come on. Buster Swords. Gun blades. Ooh, yes. <laughs> um, and I haven't made my favorite yet, which is the the Brotherhood Sword from Final Fantasy X. Um and I'm gonna I'm making some other stuff too. 
Like, these are the Final Fantasy related stuff, but uh, I'm gonna make some other stuff. And if you don't like earrings, I can make them a little bit bigger and make it into a keychain. Um, maybe some stickers. I'll probably, like, give away, like, three items. The big item will be the rug. And then maybe two other things could be, um, some, like, you know, knickknacks. But, like, nothing, nothing's decided yet. I'm just, I'm kind of, like, bouncing ideas with, with y'all. Because you think everyone likes Gengar? Because I'm thinking Gengar. Gonna stab? Gonna, gonna stab with your ears, yes. We are... Just, just, you know, just in case. We got protection with us. <laughs> Gengar's a popular Pokemon. For sure, for sure. I think he's pretty beloved. But I think Haunter. I think people like Haunter more sometimes. Because um, I, I did a poll on um, Instagram recently. And I asked people what their favorite ghost Pokemon is. And more people said they liked Gengar. Or more people liked Haunter than Gengar. Which, I I agree. I like Haunter more than Gengar. But Gengar is cool. Gengar's still cool. He's just he's just not the top tier level of silliness that, that Haunter is, I think. I don't know. But yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Gengar is what I want to make. I think most people would like a Gengar rug. I was kind of thinking maybe like something um, game related, like... I don't know, the old PlayStation logo, on it. but it's, it's, it's kind of a little on the boring side, but it's on the side where, like, most people like PlayStation around here. Um, I don't think I have a whole lot of people that follow me that like Xbox. Xbox is kind of games that are, like, shooting games, which I play, like, once in a while, but not, not a whole lot. Really, the only shooting game that I like is probably Bioshock. Um, but yeah, if anyone's new here, I also kind of want to introduce myself. I'm, you know, ghost girl. But you can call me Kay if you want. Um, some people call me Kay. Um, I am a very shy streamer. I have a social anxiety. I have a lot of anxiety in general. Sometimes. Um. Sometimes. Sometimes I forget my thoughts. <laughs> I'm kind of goofy. I'm a little goofy. I'm a little orange cat sometimes. We have orange cat and black cat commands if you want to see how much cat you are today. <laughs> I think uh, orange cats are more like one brain cell energy. They're kind of goofy, kind of chaotic. The black cat is more calm. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a little antisocial sometimes. Maybe they're just misunderstood. So, yeah. Um, we do have a Discord, but you have to redeem it in the uh, a channel redeem, and it will be whispered to you, the link. Because we try to keep a, a safe community. Very LGBT friendly around here, obviously. We're playing a LGBT game. But yeah. You want to get back in the game? <laughs> We're here in the audience. We in the audience applaud her, uh, some more enthusiastically than others. As she walks off stage, the professor in charge of my course grabs the microphone from his seat at the very front of the stage and calls my name. Uh, next up, Valerie. He pauses while, le while reading Cadence's name. Also, I, I kind of like to tell people... I have a hard time reading. If you haven't been around here lately, I have a hard time reading. So for me to play a game where I have to read everything, it's very hard for me. <laughs> I'm a little uh, dyslexic and just kind of... just It's just hard for me to read sometimes. Uh, with her friend Cadence uh, performing the co composition on piano. I stand up before Cadence and offer her my hand. She takes it with a smile. In contrast to when we first met, um, and how cautious she was about being my pianist, 
She's grown to trust me and is more willing to follow my lead. Hmm. We walk up to the stage. Cadence positions herself beside the piano. And... Kawi... Uh, G G G L, and Baby Grand, and Glossy Embry. Um, while I stand at the front, facing my professor. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Valerie, and this is Cadence. I take a deep breath to prepare my speech. While I finish, begin. When I fi finish, begin composing my song. I want to tell a story. Oh, when I first... Oh, see. I read that as finish. <laughs> when I first began composing my song, I wanted to tell a story. A story of anticipated pain, haunting sorrow, lingering heartbreak, a story to touch the soul and bring the listener to tears. But I had a problem. I couldn't relate. I personally haven't experienced anything in my life that made my heart ache into the late hours of the night. How could I possibly touch the hearts of listeners when my own heart hasn't even been moved? And I assume that, like me, many of my peers would also struggle to continue a song or enjoy a song that they couldn't relate to. That's why I needed to change the story that we're about to tell. This song is no longer about the pain and sorrow that comes with heartbreak. Instead, this song tells the story of pushing past all that and working towards your dreams, achieving your goals, and experiencing the love that comes from spending time with your friends and families. The song is about the future and how we have the ability to make it absolutely wonderful. This is Love's Crescendo. Ooh! <laughs> it's rhythm game time. All right, don't, don't fail. Wow! Wow! one oh damn it <laughs> this game be cute it do be cute Rhythm games destroy you? I'm actually pretty good at rhythm games, but not like to the extent that my friends are good at them. <laughs> I would say I'm mid. <laughs> play dance games and I own my own machine my own like pop or pump it up machine which is a it's kind of like a Korean um, DDR it's the best way I can describe it if you don't know what it is but I don't get to play it often it's in storage but I could go to an arcade and play I also like rhythm games like Papa Music and Sound Voltex. 
Sound growth text is kind of hard to uh, find. It's not usually at a lot of arcades in America. And the sight of an angel playing Heaven's um, Anthem. That was the only way for me to describe Cadence's performance. Although, I've heard our song so many times this past semester. From its earliest con conception in my, my mind to our final practice last night, what I just witnessed is beyond anything I could have imagined. Successfully completed every track in the story. Whoa! Woohoo! My professor applauds with unenthusiastic and unimpressed clapping before noting something down in my assessment form and directly directing Cadence off the stage. I'm sure he's seen and heard hundreds of students during his time at the university, but would it kill him to look like he's enjoying his compositions even just a little bit? There is more than one way to describe things. Oh yeah. Uh, Cadence and I return to our seats as the next students take the stage. I feel a tug on my sleeve. How was I? You were absolutely incredible, Cadence. I got the achievement. You were absolutely incredible, Cadence. <laughs> Her smile eases into a more relaxed state. I didn't think she was worried at all, but perhaps even a seasoned pianist like herself still needs a little reassurance from time to time. How can I help her? I know. We should celebrate. For potatoes? We should go get some potatoes. She interrupts me, interrupts me with self-gratifying smile on her face. I want to give it to you for your final... I want to give it to you for final pronouncing it correctly, but no. Let's go for something a little more fancy this time. She tilts her head to the side with curiosity, but perhaps a hint of doubt at the mention of fancy. The evening sun Fades a fades the streets in a cozy orange hue. In contrast, this the chilly air is still damp from last night's snowfall. I guide Cadence through the quiet streets, walking side by side, enjoying the slight the sight of her hair, swaying left and right with every step. Oh well, thank you for the lurky. We walk up to a small French-themed uh, crepe, crepe with a red and white curtains framing the window. Above the door is a sign and written in golden cursive, cursive is the name. Crepe Escape. Crepe Escape. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's not the Great Escape. It's the Crepe Escape. Note Canada, and still no idea what those pom-poms on the topko are for. With the palm? The, on, like on the hat? You don't know what the pom-poms are for? They're for decoration. <laughs> oh, this is fancy. We're at a fancy diner. A bell chimes loudly to alert the services the servers of our arrival when we open the door. After you. Thank you. Cadence is quick to remove her coat when she steps to the heated little restaurant. We're greeted by one of the servers dressed in black and white with a stylish red uh, barrette. barrette who shows us to our table by the window. Here are the menus. Would you like to start with any drinks? 
I straighten my posture and tilt my nose to the sky, pulling off a snooty voice that I can make. I like your finest bottle of champagne. Let's get a stifled chuckle out of Cadence. But the opposite reaction from the server. Oh no. We don't serve champagne, but we have pop, juice, tea, coffee, or water. I take a moment to carefully read through the drinks menu. I'll just get a glass of water, please. A lemonade for me. Oh, sure. She is quick to return and leave. I guess my joke wasn't as funny as I thought it was. When I look at Cadence, she's trying to hide her smile from her hand. Uh, and doing a poor job at it. Maybe it was a funny joke. I just had to find the right audience. So how did you feel when you were up there on stage today? Cadence brushes a loose lock of her golden hair behind her ear. The same as I usually do. And what's that? Her lips curl into a blissful smile. Lost in the moment. That's a good answer, spoken like a true uh, musician. I know exactly what you mean. Doesn't it feel like you're in a world of your own making? She looks at me uh, quiz, quiz, quizzically, not quite agreeing with what I'm saying. What do you mean? When I'm playing, it feels like I'm in my own bubble. I control what I see and hear, and anything that's not important sort of just fades away. I see. Or a better example would be comparing it to wearing noise-canceling headphones. That's not quite how I would describe it, but I can see why you would think that way. Well, how would you describe it? Hmm, it's a bit hard for me to put into words. i love to hear you try. I guess when I'm performing, it feels more like time has stopped. She pauses and I can see she is trying to think of a way to elaborate. The way she tilts her head slightly to the side and purses her lips as she thinks it's quite cute. Um, like everything that has happened before I touch the piano and everything that will happen after I step away, it all sort of just fades from my mind. And the only time that I feel like I'm really alive is while I'm in the moment of playing. I can't really think of a better way to explain the feeling, so that will have to do for now. That's pretty fascinating. We don't often have very deep, very in-depth conversations, but discussing the differences between our experiences with music is quite intriguing. Although, what we experience might differ, music has still brought Cadence and me together. Now it's a matter of figuring out where we want it to take, take us from here. Here are your drinks. Are you ready to order? I'm snapped back into reality when two, glass, two tall glasses of ice are placed on the table between us. The server empties a bottle of lemonade into one and water into the other. Yes, I'd like to order the crepes with spiced pear, ricotta, and Bel Belgian dark chocolate, please. Fancy. Cadence rolls her eyes but continues to smile at me. I'll have the strawberry and rhubarb crepes. I never heard of that. The server jots down our order before returning to the kitchen. I can't wait to eat. I'll admit, I'm also pretty hungry. That sounds amazing. Just the fact that it's crepe sounds amazing. 
Have you had crepes before? <coughs> yes, but they were Japanese style crepes. Those Japanese style crepes are even better. <laughs> what are Japanese style crepes like? They just have different types of fillings. The one I ate had lettuce, tuna, corn, and mayo in it. That's not a crepe. What? That's not the Japanese crepes that I, I saw when I was in Japan. The ones they have in Japan are usually like strawberries. Lettuce, tuna, and corn. No. <laughs> my eyes widen as big as my mouth. I've never had crepes like that before. There's a little shop in Sydney that sells them. Maybe I should visit you in Australia. It's a casual comment that left my mouth before my brain even finished putting the sentence together. But it's not such a bad idea. Hey, would that be an... Would that be... Would that actually be alright with you? If I went to Australia, would you show me around? Uh, Cadence's chestnut brown eyes glimmer slightly with what I hope is excitement. But the way she averts her gaze and fiddles with a lock of her hair makes me think otherwise. Do you even have time to take an overseas holiday? Why wouldn't I? She forces, focuses her gaze back at me and leans a little closer. Aren't you graduating soon? Don't you need to start job hunting? I've already started. Really? Her tone is filled with disbelief. Yes. Cadence, I've known... I've known what I wanted to do with my life ever since I was a kid. It's been my dream to create music that's emotional and tear-jerking. Tear it wasn't easy for me, but I'm not the type of person to be swayed by emotions myself. I know. But you've been a real inspiration for me while composing Cadence. Her cheeks flush with a vibrant shade of red. I've already applied for internships with a couple of studios here in Canada. But you know that music is a global language. I can even look for work in Australia. Her face lights up. She doesn't even try to hide her excitement at the idea. That's true, you could. Her lips soften into a content smile. I know I might not be the type. But I do think about my future a fair bit. And to be honest, I think a future with you in it wouldn't be so bad. Dare I say, it might actually be enjoyable. You don't say. Cadence places her hands on the table in front of her. I don't know if that was meant to be a sign, but I decided to take it as my cue to reach my own hands forward. Her hands are warm. She's a little surprised by the sudden contact, but doesn't withdraw from my grasp. Her eyes dance like the candlelight between her hands and my face. Mm hmm. She smiles. I've always had my future laid out um, for me by my parents, so I haven't had to think about it too much. I must go now, but I hope the stream goes well. Thank you, cu cutie maple. I hope you hope you're doing well. Have fun with the tree. <laughs> I think we're almost done with this game, but I also think a picture with you doesn't sound too bad. Like our musical performance, we both become lost in this moment. Time stops, and all the surrounding noise seems to just fade away. The timing is perfect. I take control and lead for lean forward over the table. <gasps> hey Rex! Hi! How you doing? I think we're almost at the end of the game. It's getting spicy. <laughs> Cadence follows my lead. You're doing great. That's good to hear. We getting spicy? <gasps> we getting spicy. <laughs> I 
She accompanies me in a, with a, in a gentle kiss that lasts for two beats of our hearts. Ah! Ooh, ooh. And just like that, we reach the conclusion of our song. Kiss the girl! We got it. We got the achievement of Kiss the Girl. Two years later! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm awakened by the jingles of Wow. Wow. I'm, a... <laughs> I'm awakened by the jingles of plates and bowls. Metal cutterly uh, clinking against crockery crockery and cup cupboard cupboard <laughs> flaming shut the beat of heavy footsteps and familiar hum to one of my favorite songs join in. Wakey wakey eggs and bakey. Bakey being short for bacon. I roll over, turn turning away from the dim morning glow, sweeping in from the window to face the shining bright smile of my partner, Valerie. Good morning. We did it guys, we got the kiss. We got, yeah, we got stuffed animals. Every, every gay person needs some stuffed animals. It's confirmed, if you guys didn't know that. Wakey, wakey, hands, hands off, snaky? What you, what you doing, gothic? <laughs> Come on, let's have breakfast at the table. I, I find it interesting that it's kind of a studio apartment, like the kitchen and everything is in the same room. I mean, if they can say that on the radio, I'm safe. It, yes. I was at a gay guy's house last night, and he had at least 90. He had a lot of things, though. That's fair. Um, I see it on TikTok all the time, like... There's this famous TikTok where it's like, um, like, are you really gay if you don't have, like, a bunch of, like, Pokemon plushes? Or it was like, you know that he's gay if he has Pokemon plushes. <laughs> I, I, I actually don't have that many stuffed animals. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of plushies, but I have a few here and there that I enjoy. Very impressive nerd collection. I, yeah, I like. I'm more a fan of action figures. I don't like too much on the bed because, like, then you gotta move move the stuff off the bed. But I've seen people make those like um, the nets that hang up. I would like to do that and put my uh, my plushies there. I don't have a lot of plushies. I think I only have like. I have a Bulbasaur. I have a Charizard. He's small. Mm, I have a, a Ma Mamashi? Mamashida? Mamashida? Yeah, um, look up Mamashida. Mamashiba? Mamashiba. Shiba means dog, right? No, Inu, Inu means dog. Mamashiba. It's a commercial. <laughs> It's a commercial in Japan, but it's about like little bean dogs. They have cute plushies. Shiba is a breed of dog. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Saw one and it looked awesome. I have a friend who has a ba, but Jilla? Who's that? She needs to get an inflatable chair that you can just stuff them into. Oh okay. Mm, I'm trying to think which other ones do I have. I have a Pokemon plush. Or like a Pikachu one. Um, I got him only because I wanted to cosplay. I I dressed him up like... Uh, I was Misty from Pokemon. With um, the episode where... Um, Melvin. The Melvin, the... Um, 
the magic guy <laughs> does the tricks and she is like dressed in this like golden outfit and Pikachu's dressed as like a little guy, a little bow tie and stuff, a suit. So I got Pikachu for that reason, because I brought him into the cosplay with me. Um, I also have a Pikachu from when I was a little kid. I still have him. He looks, he looks beaten up, but he's still loved. I don't know what to do with him. He's kind of embarrassing now to like show to people. <laughs> I joined Valerie at the table, sitting next to her and picking up the glass of orange juice that she's freshly poured. Are you nervous about today? Not really. Not even a little? Nope. What about you? Are you nervous? Of course not. And you know what? We're both going to smash it today. Yes, we both most definitely will. It reminds me of Doki Doki, but not evil. I have not played Doki Doki, but I know, I know, I know what it is. I know it's evil. <laughs> Tate is the big day, in more ways than one, more ways than two even. Not only is today our two-year anniversary, but it's also the release day of the movie that Valerie has been working on. After taking part in a couple of small projects with her friends and networking within the industry, she interviewed for a position with a globally successful um, production studio over a year ago. She landed the role, of course. I couldn't be more proud. She's been working like a dog on this movie, and we've both been attending the premiere. We'll both be attending the premiere later tonight. But that's just two of the three things we're celebrating today. The third? Well, today is my final performance for my university degree. I will be performing a solo piano piece that I compose mostly by myself. Valerie did contribute a little with a few suggestions. It's not evil yet. Oh. It's not, it's not gonna be evil, guys. It's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to finally be completing my degree here in Canada. <gasps> They're in Canada. I returned to Australia in my second year because that was the original, the original arrangement of my study abroad program. But I was able to reapply when considerably ease, considerable ease it was granted a change of universities, so I'm officially will be graduating here in the spring of next year. My parents were shocked when I told them I wanted to finish my studies in Canada, but they weren't against it, weren't against it, and have come to visit twice over the past six months. You know what? We're having family issues, so that's probably best. We don't really hang out with our parents. But do our parents know that we're gay? I wonder. They're probably just like, oh, that's just a roommate. They were even more shocked upon meeting Valerie, but that's a story for another day. The end of one journey is the beginning of another, as they say. Oh, right. You still haven't told me what you decided to call your song, Cadence. Valerie leans over the table with a cheeky smile on her face. Should I be flattered? I rolled my eyes. In these past two years, her ego has only seemed to have gotten bigger. No sequel baiting. But I guess her unwavering confidence is one of the things that I love about her. You might like the title. Really, what is it? I stretch my hand over my playful pinch her nose, over to playfully pinch her nose, causing her to scrunch her face. Love's uh, conclusion. Complete the story. The story is completed. 
round of applause. It's gone. It's it's over. <laughs> All right. All right. How'd you feel? How'd you feel? Some very cute things in that game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will do some... Gay pride. Move! I'm gay! <laughs> Time to play Doki Doki. I don't know. I don't know if I can play Doki Doki. Needs improvement. Love the music and theme, though. Yeah, I got you. I mean, it's a it's a visual novel. There's not gonna be much game to it. It's just visual novels are basically just they're just novels. But I like that they did add the rhythm game aspect to it. Um, so what, how long have we been playing for? Oh, we're almost at five hours. Well, I'm glad we finished the game today. The game's over. It was a cute little game. Mm-hmm. Comic books with mini games. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna try to play this other game, um, if we had finished this early, but we're already at five hours and I kind of, I think that's enough for a stream. Um, but what's the next game I wanted to show you? It was- it's called Loud, and it takes place in Tokyo, Japan, I think? Um, it's another kind of rhythm game. Um, so I'm gonna try it out. It's Loud, My Road to Fame. So it's, an, it's another indie game, but not a visual novel. But I might try that later. What, what's my schedule again? What am I scheduled for? <laughs> um, I'm streaming tomorrow at 4 p.m. So maybe... What do you guys want? Is, do you guys want me to play the rhythm game tomorrow? Or do you want to kind of finish up Final Fantasy VII Remake? We might be able to finish Final Fantasy VII Remake. Theater Room Final Curtain on Switch? I haven't played that one. Did you play the Final Fantasy VII Rhythm game? No, I didn't. I didn't know that existed. Is that on Steam? Play Fortnite with me. Um, SOS, get wrecked. Um, you know, I have, some, I have some friends that want me to play Fortnite, but I don't think I would be good. Fantasy 7 rhythm game? How do I find that? It's a whole franchise. If you like Final Fantasy music, it's a, a, the above thing I just said. Oh. Let me see. Oh, okay, so this, they're the same thing. It, they're all on Switch? It has to be on Switch? I don't play that much on my Switch. I don't like having to deal with a caption card while I stream, but I will if I have to. Yeah, I think it's not on Steam. You had a stroke typing, I see, I see. I'm gonna share videos. Um, I got you, I got you. So we can tell the kids to get wrecked. I, I don't like to um, abuse kids. <laughs> oh, it's on PlayStation Four too. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Final Fantasy games being on a PlayStation. Okay. Well then, if you guys don't mind, I will. I'll just pick it tomorrow. What I want to play. Um. Yes. But I will be playing that that indie game soon. Soon. This week. Not sure what day. It might be tomorrow. It might be Wednesday, Friday. Another rhythm game. 
Gothic feels better after beating beating up some elementary school kids. My mom plays Fortnite to get her revenge on kids. Is the best I can tell. 100% serious. Wow. What? Why? Is she like a, a teacher or something? I don't need to be on the FBI list. Mm -mm. I, I'm not- I wouldn't be good at that game. I wouldn't be good at Fortnite. Who's, who's online right now? She's retired, just plays with her sister and brother as a trio. Combined age 180? <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Alright, um... What should I send you guys to? Do you go on cozy vibes? Or... Not cozy vibes. Do you want RPG vibes? Not to hell. Not to hell. <laughs> I'm giving you options. Cozy, not cozy, or RPGs. The, the RGB? Okay, to hell, no. No, no hells. I don't know if you're... Yeah, are you making a joke or are you not spelling it correctly? <laughs> the cozy vibes? Okay, let me, let me check on cozy vibes. The RGB gamer vibes. Okay. You might scare the streamer that I'm gonna send you to. They haven't been rated much. Um, so if you wanna join in the raid with me, um, copy and paste the above one if you are not subbed, the second if you are subbed. I scare everyone, I just noticed your layout. With the pixel cats and tree, it looks nice. Oh, thanks. I just have the face not even a mother could love. Stop! Okay, I'm gonna... There's an ambulance outside. Hold on. Okay. We're ending. Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, I'm gonna send you off to Ghost Maple. Ghost Cutie Maple. Who's been here. She or they are very cozy. Um, and she, they, I'm sorry, <laughs> her, their pronouns are they, them, and I keep fucking it up because I am a silly goose, um, but they are drawing and chatting with a friend, um, they are not affiliate yet, but if you would like to, uh, stick around, help out with the views so they can get affiliate, um, they're very cozy, very nice. I'm a silly goose, yes, I'm sorry. But yeah, let's 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 get the raid started. Thank you, Enzo. Yeah. 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 
Oh goodness, I got a raid. Hello, ghost. <laughs> <laughs> 